Talking sh** with Beecher. Let's go. Scientifically, you, you can't get the same virus twice. Why? Because your body fights it and it remembers it, but it mutates. That's but if it mutates, then you can get it again. But yeah, you can't yes. get the same virus twice. You cannot. Your body created antibodies from it, yeah. and then you can't get it twice. Get That's it. Twice. But that's why they can't find the cure for the common cold. Because the common cold. But every year it's different. It, it, yes, exactly. So you can move that wherever. Okay. So, can you so, hear me good? Yeah. Well, the goal is about a fist between. Okay. You know how big a fist is, man. Yeah. I know you do. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I we're we're all measuring. <laughs> Wait a minute. Right here. All right. We're good. All right. So anyways, we're talking about COVID. Can you imagine? So we got TJ and Days here. And we're gonna talk some shit. Talk shit. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm cool with it. Talk All right. Shit, swallow spit. Glad to be up here. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to be up here with Jamar Beecher, man. Thank yeah, you for man. Us, man. Thanks really for having us. Yeah, thanks for coming. The, um, the seminar was phenomenal yesterday. Great facility. Great, great guys. Great energy. Everything was really, really, really cool. We love what you're doing out here, at, yeah, at, actually. Well, I'm glad you guys came because we learned a lot of stuff. We learned how to knee people better. Yeah, mm. I like that. Mm. I like. Yeah. To me, the knee hurts the most in Muay Thai. What, what do you think about that? So they did that. Have you ever seen that show that was a um, science show? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what the hardest strike was out of all of them? I don't remember. It was a Muay Thai knee. Yeah. Oh, it was the shit. hardest strike out of all the strikes. Mm. And you know who did it? Melkor Menor. The guy that kicks the bats, right? Yeah, Melkor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. he fought at 55. So mm. imagine if somebody 250 would have thrown that knee. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it would have been They'd have gone through the wall. Yeah. Ooh. And the hardest thing, the, the other hardest thing was Rampage. He's that slam where he slammed people. Yeah. Bam. From the, I think it was from the guard, right? He picked from, somebody up from the guard. Well, it they was, had him in a triangle. Yeah, the triangle. That's what and they had him And then he picked in. him all the way up here. Ooh. Once you're up here, just let go, dude. You're going to get slammed on your head, you know? Ooh. <laughs> you know what the triangle is? No. You know, they wrap the legs around your head and kind of like pull your arm up. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. your arm is like this and it chokes you. So oh, your shit. own arm like chokes you. So yeah. right here, you're losing blood to your brain. And Can then, you pass out from that? Of course. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Quick, huh? For sure. I mean, I wouldn't know from experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I do jujitsu too. Um, I just try to have fun with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I used to compete and all you that. You told me you were brown belt. Man. Brown belt, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Like, I've been doing jujitsu as long as I've been doing Muay Thai. Wow. I started at uh, Rafael Lovato's. Okay. And, uh, West Coast? No, Oklahoma. Okay. Oh, shit. So, like, Lovato is like the best american jiu-jitsu guy ever wow mm. yeah he's like i've rolled with lots of people and i do well with black belts and stuff but this dude i try to do something to him and before i do it i'm like what the fuck was that dude what just happened Damn. And he's like you did <laughs> oh, yeah i know <laughs> um yeah so i started there but his dad taught him and us at first okay. and he did jeet kune do which uh, part of Jeet Kune Do is uh, Muay Thai. Really? Yeah. So okay. we did Muay Thai. And that's where I started. But how about this? Where'd you start? Muay Thai? Yeah. Oh, shit. Believe it or not, I started at an MMA gym. Yeah? I know him. Uh, Saul. Saul Police? Police? Yeah. Of course I know him. Yeah, I started there. Remember, I started at MMA, but I really didn't like the, the ground part. Yeah. The BJJ. I think you have to become uh, accustomed to it. It's like you do, yeah. It you was kind of weird for me, you know. Yeah, and uh, I said, okay, I like the stand up part, I'm a little bit more natural for it. So, go to Google, you know, uh, authentic Muay Thai gyms in Houston. Started okay. training a uh, little, a little bit after that. I went to Crew Pong's, uh, that's where I met. I trained with him once, yeah, that's why I, I did. <laughs> Who hasn't trained with that dude, man? Right? Exactly, right? You me. gotta go through it. You haven't, you, uh -uh. Uh -huh. you went over there though, huh? But I went just to stop by, but yeah. I never, never trained there, yeah. So that's where I met all those guys at, and that's where, you know, that's where the path started. And he was super Thai style, like, kick. Yeah. Well, where do I put my hands to do that? Just kick. Yeah. Go, yeah. kick, more. Yeah. Yeah. You should know already. That's Thai style. Yeah. But in America, we have to break it down. Left hand goes up, right hand goes down. You got to turn your body. Mm -hmm. yeah. just, just fucking kick. What are you talking about? <laughs> Go, right? I yeah. that was Thai street to the, to the max. It was Thai. It was just. Kick left, kick right, bang left, left. I'm, oh shit! It was just it's, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, good for cardio, but technique. Uh, you know, I needed, I needed a little bit more attention. So, uh, 
you know, eventually we, we, we changed the revolution a couple about a, a year and a half later. Right. And all those guys, me, you know, all those guys, Sammy, Woody, all those, we all grew, came up together. Right. After that, HMT, and then after HMT, uh, Tyler. Great. I went to Gracie Bar for a little bit, just for yeah. a little bit with uh, Ilya. Bro, that guy's good, he's man. A, he's an animal. Hey, a talk beast. into that, Mark. Oh, yeah, he's a beast. Yeah, do that the whole Savage. time. Savage. Bro, that dude. Like, I have a lot of fights too, but not like Ilya. Mm. But he turned me backwards and kicked. I was like, what was that? What was that? <laughs> Come on, hold on a second. Show me that shit. Like, he's really good, you know? Yeah, yeah. I knew he wasn't going to stay long, though. That's just yeah. Ilya, you know? He doesn't stay long. So. Travels. Oh, you knew him before this? Before he came to. Uh, no, I okay. knew of him. Like, okay. I've seen his fights and stuff, but I just knew he wasn't going to stay long, you know? That's just yeah. him, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so then, a lot of guys are. So you said then you went to uh, Houston Muay Thai with mm -hmm. Corley. Yes. And then you went to Thailand. Yes. And how long did you stay in Thailand? About four, almost four years. Four years. Yeah, yeah, we left in October 2016. And you were there with him the whole time? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I got to have my wifey. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. That's, that's, that brings me to this question. How the fuck? <laughs> okay, so look, so look, I don't, I don't know anybody acts. Like, I never, uh, I never even thought, maybe I was just dumb, but I never thought of, like, I could go to Thailand and just stay there and fight. I never thought of it, you know what I mean? I always had to think about, well, I have a house, I have a car payment, and I have a dog, and whatever. Yeah. So how did you guys manage to go and stay for four years? And you guys have kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's two kids. Yeah. How the fuck did you do that? That's my question. How? It started with an idea. Okay. All right. And this is the part I don't want. This is, we're going to go a little deep now. The secret of it. All right. It started with an idea. If I had one year left to live, Mark, and anything I did was going to be successful, what would I do? All right. I would go to Thailand and train and fight. That was the idea. Damn, if I had one year left to live, man, I was at work. I worked night shift and I'm just sitting in a boring ass job and thinking, man, if I had one year left to live. And it was going to be successful. What would I do? Hmm. And I would go to Thailand. I would train and fight. Then I asked, okay, why aren't I doing that? And that's when those questions came up that you just mentioned. Man, I have a, I have a house. We had a house. My bedroom house. We got cars. We got kids. It's babies. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's where it started. But um, I started this new way of thinking. And um, part of it was, okay, write it down. Whatever you want. Just that's write a, that that's down. a huge thing. Yes. I had never done that before. And uh, I tried it, and I, I kept reading, kept studying this new way of thinking, and I said, okay, if this shit's work, I tried everything else. If this works, I'm going to find out. And, uh, man, and that was it. And every, ever since then, that was five years ago, and I've still been using this shit. And the thing is, you just don't learn the, the, the laws and stop. No, they, it's, it delves so much into it that you have to keep going, and you become fascinated with it because it's, it's just so great. It's so wonderful. And I use it in everything. Everything. I don't care if. And you know what? I want to. I want to create a, a brand with, with with KMA logo. I don't know what it's going to look like. Let me write this shit down. All right. Then I start applying those laws, and next thing you know, it just it just happens. So that's with everybody and everything in life. Uh, um, I have a, a a dry erase marker, but I, mm. uh, by my door. And so, so when I, I'm in my bedroom door, when I wake up and I have an idea, I write it on there. Mm. I have to get it done. You know. Um, but you should write it on somewhere permanent, but my, that's how my ideas come. And I just write it down. Yes. Uh, whenever you write stuff down, you look at it and then you're like, Hey man, I have to do this. Why didn't I, why haven't I done this yet? You know? Yeah. And then you realize if you still want to do it or not. Mm. Like I, I, no, nah, I don't want to do that yeah. shit anymore, you know? But, but whenever you realize, Hey, I got to do this, you got to go do it, man. Yeah. So that kind of answers the question, but it doesn't. Okay. What I mean is. How did you make money? How did you survive? How did you support your kids? How did you do? How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> well, I'm in Thailand. What do you? Okay. I've been to Thailand and I yeah. stay for months. When I when I'm there for a month or two, what do you do? You wake up and train. Then you eat. Then you train. Then you sleep. Then you do it all again tomorrow. Yeah. So how did you do it and make enough money to do all this stuff that we talked about? Okay. Uh. So you know we had a house. We owned our house. We sold our house. And after that, um. Before that, I already knew that we were going to go to Thailand. Remember I told you, I wrote it down, and then ideas started coming. And then I said to myself, all right, when I get out there, how are we going to survive? I need to learn how to make money. I need to learn how to farm. All right, so I have started going to the library. I started studying books on investing. I started studying books on money management. And um, 
that's what happened. We managed our money when we were out there. Um, Daisy to 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 stay longer. That was the biggest thing, in my opinion. The money's gonna come. Think about it. I mean, we're magnets to it. That's what I believe. Yeah, but, we're magnets. but what money's gonna come? Like not Thai money. Yeah. That's not a lot of money. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot <laughs> to live out there, though. Yeah, that's Think true. about it. We had a, a three bedroom house. We had Five a car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, Thailand. at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a three bedroom house. We had the car. Everything. I think our bills were how much per month? Like five hundred, six hundred? No, yeah. about nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred bucks a month for a family of four to eat, sleep in Bill. Thailand. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Your kids were with you out yeah. there. Yes, of course. What? You didn't know that. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. man. No. They, they That's went to a, that was another one of my questions. Really? Yeah. First, we started off in an international school. Okay. And to stay longer, we thought that, you know, you know, you have to have a work visa. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. So uh, after. This, when is, we, this is my co-pilot, my best friend and my wife. After um, being in Thailand. Well, we, we, we actually found a place where I could uh, teach uh, in Thailand while we were here. You taught what? English. English. You taught English? English as a second Do you speak Thai? I do a little bit. Nit noy. Nit noy. That means a little bit. Yeah. That means a little bit. That's, That's all I know. So. That speak a little bit. Yeah, I know. I know how to order food and I know how to say thank you and a little bit. <laughs> Nit noy. So then I, I um, hooked up with this lady out there and she owned a private school. So initially I got the TEFL certificate to teach and then I was teaching at the international school that our kids were at. Yeah. But the education level was like, low yeah by our oh. expectations we're not going to talk yeah anything, but, but no i'm just saying they were very low and, and and our schools aren't that high either exactly so, so i was concerned well, it was crazy yeah we yeah. were concerned so what we did is um we pulled them out of the international school after the school year was over and we signed them up to an american homeschool okay so they started doing homeschool and so so is, she, is it on like Zoom or something like uh, no, no, no you come in i mean no she owned a private school no he's talking about the kids american school yeah that, the they did American online. School. Everything did was online. online. Everything was yeah. online. Lessons, homework, schoolwork, wow. everything. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So you guys. And we didn't know anything about this, Mark. Think about it. Yeah. We didn't know about sure. international school and we didn't know about a private. But that's what I mean. We wrote that shit. Everything. I was looking for a camera because I was going, okay, when we go to Thailand, I want to shoot a vlog. So I'm looking on Craigslist. So I'm scrolling down on Craigslist and then I see out the blue, I swear to God, um, teach international in Thailand and receive work visa one year work visa. one year work visa i'm the, f the hell I okay we it. need that right yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah i'm looking for a camera and that's when we that's when we found we found wana well that's when we saw wana through the thing and that's when okay yeah come out here and then you can stay longer with work visa here permanent and that's that's that was the biggest concern and it happened nice how how how, how would we make money to do it to live out here for a long time shit just believe it and then that shit just came I'm telling you, I can't so, explain it. I, so I do believe in the positive um, mindset. Yes, sir. But I, I, I like Joe Rogan. I don't care what anybody says. He's a buddy <laughs> of mine too. But I, I do also believe you have to, you can't just think, oh, it's going to happen. And then it happens. You have to fucking make steps to make that mm, happen. Facts. You go, oh, I'm going to think it's going to happen. Look, I made a bunch of money. No, you have to, then it'll come, but yes. you have to take those steps. That's what it is. And, it's faith, really, right? Yeah. So, really, faith is courage and action. Yeah. I can have a faith. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna whoop this guy's ass next week. But if you don't have the courage to actually take action, it's not gonna happen. A lot of people are good at, at let's say Muay Thai, but they're so scared when they get in the ring. Mm. That, yeah, that courage, or or you don't have. I was nervous every time I stepped in the ring, every single time. But hey, man, you're gonna use it, or you're gonna die. What are you gonna do? <laughs> you know that's the attitude that you have to have yeah for opinion. sure yeah just do it just and, do and it and i think at the end of the day the fear from fighting it comes from the ego you know what i mean and i feel as though this is my personal opinion if i lose what would they think if i lose what would they say about me if i lose you know how, how they might think i'm a loser you know what i mean to me that's the ego and you're putting too much of your, your yourself in the activity if I ask you, who are you? You're not going to say, I'm Muay Thai. You know what I mean? You'll say, oh, I'm Beecher. I'm this, I'm that. Yeah. Yeah. So Muay Thai, that's not who you are. It's just what you do. I told, I had two guys lose last week. Was that last week? Two guys lost last week. So? And uh, exactly. They were, they were feeling a little down. Mm -hmm. Bro, it's just, you know, exhibition. You, you'll get better. It's part of it. That comes from Thailand. And you know about that shit. Yeah. Because look, we don't ask, how many fights did you win? <laughs> Exactly. We asked how many fights do you have? How many yeah. fights do you have? Oh, 150. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, I don't have 150, but <laughs> but I have 71. But yes. but because it doesn't matter. Look, the thing is, I, I tell my guys, you're gonna lose. Not everyone's gonna win every fight. Mm. No one's gonna win every fight, right? Um, but when you lose, it doesn't matter because you are more brave than any of these other people who didn't step in the ring mm. so you're more powerful and braver than all those people you lost who cares you yes. did what you mm -hmm. wanted to do you did your you best know? yeah yes and that's it yes see because you have a, a fighter's mind though that's if, true. If, if if i'm joe blow and i just took a couple cardio kickboxing classes let me open it up. let me open the academy up i don't have any fights there are I'm people gonna... like that exactly don't and, get me started and those <laughs> 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 it is it's those i think that's where that 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 western american type of attitude comes from when it comes from fighting in in, in, in mma and muay thai you gotta win every fight if you don't you're a loser it's they a lot with like mma that. dude i think Ooh. i think it's a lot with mma um people where do you think it like, started i don't know dude it, it's i think it's an american mindset an american. we have to be a winner you have to be a winner like how many how many fights oh you just lost oh you suck yeah no what he, dude there's people that were like like guys are like 22 and oh or something let me just uh, just an example yeah. and then then he loses right and they go he's done mm -hmm. i'm like motherfucker you lost one fight i had they said that about uh jose aldo when he yeah. lost his first fight to so McGregor? i was like yeah that's just crazy i was like he hasn't lost a fight in nine years he lost one fight and now he's done I got to get off this social media yeah. shit. Bye. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's terrible. Those you know? are the couch guys. Yeah. It's, yeah. Those are the couch guys. Totally. Even when I'm reading like comments and stuff and uh, somebody got knocked out. It was a pretty bad knockout and guys were making fun of him. I'm just thinking, how could you do that? Yeah. Only, oh, it was. Remember Magnus? Mm -hmm. When he fought on one championship, he fought the guy from Pitch and D. Mm -hmm. And um, he lost in the commentator was, oh, he's on chicken legs. Block, 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 block. And I'm thinking like, how the fuck? Can the hell can you can I curse on here? Yeah. Okay. Dude, we've been cussing. <laughs> shit. Dude, we've been cussing like this whole time. And the name of it is talking shit. I mean, I mean, shit isn't a bad word. We use that, you know, interchangeably yeah. with stuff. But I mean, like the big words. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'll keep it clean. But I'm not. Nah, yeah. Matter. How the hell can you say that? That's just my opinion on yeah. it. I mean, if you get in there, you do your best. That's it. Yeah, you know, and I tell my guys this too, and, and other people too. It, it's if you fought hard and the guy's better than you that day, who cares? Who cares? Yeah. Because you could be better than him tomorrow, but that day he was better than you. Okay, who cares? But if you go in there and bitch out, mm, that's a problem. You got to get out of my gym. Mm. You know what oh, I mean? Shit. Like, like, like you. What would you do in that situation? Would you? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on the, on the, I'm gonna put you on the sideline okay. for a little bit. Here's some wood right here. I've never had that situation happen to me before. My yeah. guys know if you fucking quit, you're not coming back to my gym. You're if not you're, coming back or you're not going to fight again? Mm, oh, maybe, maybe not fight again, yeah. Oh, for a while. For a while? No. Or? Never? Forever. Oh. You don't quit, dude. Yeah. You go out there and you fight, man. You wanted to do it. You're here now. Yeah. Go do it. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to have that mindset. Like, you can't have the mindset of, man, that's why I guess a lot of people like to see me fight. I wasn't that good, but oh, that, the guys, that guy's beat me up. All right. Well, he's going to have to knock me out. Let's go. Uh, I'm, gonna try to, I'm, gonna, I'm about to go to sleep early. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm about to get him this way. <laughs> so, like, like, you know, he's going to beat me up anyway. Yeah. So, I'm going to try to sleep this guy. And if I don't, well, I was getting beat up anyway. So, let's do it. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's the mindset you got to have. Yeah, I just know? got that feeling. Like, yeah. yeah, come on, bro. See, now he wants to fight. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Play no, but, but, but I definitely feel you, Jai Su. Yeah. And, and you know, in Thailand, you already know the mindset they have out there. You can lose fifty fights, but if you every time look at Porcine, yeah. yeah, he took ass whoopings, but he was a crowd favorite. Bro, he I love Porcine. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, man, do you know what happened to him? No, about how they were looking for him or something. No, yeah, man, looking it, for him it, for it, what? It was all on the news and stuff. Um, I think he killed somebody. What dead ass like or a, they a, think a he killed somebody? No, this was pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> he did. Yeah, and uh, I'm not sure if he's still on the run or anything. Yeah, yeah. Like this is recently. This was a, like a month ago. Well, I don't have TV, so. Oh yeah, this was that's on why Instagram. I'm not, that's why. Yeah. That's why I'm not scared of COVID. I didn't I don't have. A, I don't oh, have a TV. Man. Speaking of that, <laughs> do you have social media? 
Yes. <laughs> then you don't need a TV. Yeah, it's a, it's a, that's that's it's where I get my news from. Yeah. Social media. Yeah. If it's on Which CNN all, or Fox, I don't really know about it. Yeah. Well, you don't know about social media either. Man. It's my opinion of the news. It's not the news. Well, yeah. so is the news nowadays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyways. I don't so, fuck with the news, but yeah. Yeah, I, I don't watch TV at all. Zero. Zero percent. I don't watch it. Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's, it's very good, actually. It's good. It's yeah. very good. I was talking to somebody very close, very close to us. And, you know, if you don't watch, the, watch TV like us, I don't really fall into the COVID. I don't give a shit. I mean, right. whatever. But when I talk to them, it's so much fear that they just, did you see this and that? 30, it's peaking now. And then I'm like, damn. Me and Daisy will sit back so, and just I mean, stand there in the you know, and, and I have opinions on it, but I already had it. <laughs> so I'm good. But, you don't care. But look. So what you guys are telling me is it's peaking now when they're letting people out of lockdown That's and now said. and now they have tests for it, which before they didn't. So the numbers are going to go up. No shit. I'm shocked. Like, yeah, yeah of course, the numbers are going to go up because we now have a test for it. We didn't before. We didn't even know what it was. And now we're letting people out of lockdown. Anyways. No. Yeah, they, you can't even tell that something was happening here in Houston. San Antonio is more dead, but when we came in here, there's people everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, because because Texas don't give a fuck. That's why. Yeah, Texas don't care. You yeah. know, oh. we wear masks inside places, but it's so dumb. You wear wear a mask when you're standing up, but if you're sitting down, you take your mask off because COVID will go over your head, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. crazy. I went to a restaurant and I stepped in there. There were people sitting down without mask on, and the guy sitting down said, "Yeah, you have to have a, you have to have a mask in here." I thought he was joking, so I was yeah, like, yeah. Remember, I went to Elizabeth's. I'm like, "The hell are you talking about?" Yeah, I just kind of ignored him. But because if you're sitting down it. eating, you don't need to wear a mm -hmm. mask. Yes, but if you go in to grab your food, now you need a mask. I'm, yeah, he must be bullshitting, whatever. Yeah, I went to a bar the other night, and I'm standing up, and they're like, "You need a mask," and I'm, people were like yelling at me. Why they were sitting down without masks? Mask. <laughs> yeah, and no mask, but at a bar height stool, so they're the same height as me. Yeah. So I took a step over like this, and I sat down. And I'm going, like, is this good? Yeah. I'm like, that's fucking stupid. Damn. Yeah, you know? Like, it doesn't make sense. You but, told them that? Yeah, I told them that. Know you guys know me. <laughs> I talk a lot of shit. Yeah, so I have an outlook of, uh, plus I'm old, I don't care anymore. Is is whatever you want to say to people, just do it. Like, like I don't care if it offends you. Oh, wait, who cares? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that's my outlook on on life. You know, it, all, when I say shit, there's a bunch of people that look like I wish I would have said that. You know what I mean? Fuck that guy. Yeah. You know, who cares? You know, yeah. what yeah. is he gonna do? Shoot me or something? Whatever. You know, yeah. whatever. just be real. Yeah, be real. I'm real about everything. You know, and I don't lie, and, and it gets me in a lot of trouble. But I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. so you guys uh uh let's let's backtrack a little bit you guys sold your house yes and your cars mm -hmm. yeah. motorcycle all that we I, we gave our we yeah. gave our cars oh, yeah, away right. yeah i gave both my, of them oh yeah. you gave I them sold my bike and i gave my car away bro yeah. where was i at when this shit was going <laughs> out <laughs> damn I, mean, I had actually came by and uh your spot a little bit before i left yeah. And train with, I think me and Ray trained at your spot, and mm -hmm. me and Sammy. Mm -hmm. I think me and you got a little pad work in before I left, mm -hmm. man. So it was a good time, man. So yeah. she fl flew by. Yeah. Thailand flew by? Uh, yeah, this whole time. Yeah, five years. I yeah, look up and for sure. like, shit, for what sure. are we doing? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So very proud of you, man. I told you that a little bit earlier. Man, I'm I, proud of you, both you know, of you guys. Come in you and guys just, did great. Yeah. Your spot is awesome. Thanks, very man. nice. Very, in it's, here. it's goals. Your spot yeah, is goals, thanks. man. Yeah. It's nice room, man. I think sometimes we're, we're so, cause myself included, we're so close to the trees that I can't see the forest. Yeah. You know, us looking on the outside. It's inside. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, damn, Mark, man. Shit is That's phenomenal. Shit. Thanks, man. Yeah, Thanks. Man, you hey, you guys have done a lot, too. You guys have done a lot, too. Did you fight when you were there? Yes. You did? How yes. many? Two. You fought yeah. twice? Twice. All right. Awesome. But the thing was, when we lived in Huajen, they didn't have female fights yeah. as often. It's, I think it's a, maybe that side of the world, it's a, it's a thing like, Cause you know about yeah. girls and, mm -hmm. and the Buddhism, and mm -hmm. if a girl goes up and touches the Lumpini ring like this, they shut it down. Yeah. Mm. Oh. It shuts the down the stadium, and then the monks have to come in and re-bless the whole thing. Oh, oh I didn't know. That. So no girls touch the ring. No girls touch your monk. Yeah, no I, I it's just like it's just like a thing. You know, I've been it's, keeping that shit up, and there's yeah. no offense to Daisy or anything, but I'm just right. like, I just want to keep this part. 
real. Yeah, so no females touch the manga and keep yeah. it high. So so men have one and females yes. have one. So it's fine. It's it's just the tradition, and I try to keep it too. You know? Yes, but yes. it's nothing like I'm I'm a feminine or yeah. well, not, feminist. Is it not feminist. Sexist. Chauvinist. Yeah, I don't want one of those. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, uh, Either uh, one. Yeah. I am one probably. Anyway. <laughs> that's some good shit. But, but it, that's what happened, man. We we gave it away. Okay. Um, what, and then. What? All right. Yeah, we sold everything. Uh, how many? How many suitcases did we have when we left? Two. We all. We both had two suitcases. Two suitcases. That was everything. That was everything. That was everything. Let's go. Man. And uh, we didn't own a spoon in America. Nothing. Like yeah. zero. Yeah. And uh, to think about it now, because sometimes I still think, sit back and I look at some old videos and shit. And I'm just like, damn, man, we did this shit. You know what I mean? It had to be something out there that was because it was no injuries, no sickness. I had oh, when I first got there to Thailand, I wanted to win the Raja Durnham belt my first day. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. No joke. <laughs> I'm okay. ready to win okay. the belt okay. the first okay. day. Okay. You know how it is, but I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. No. So we get out there to that Thailand heat. Uh, we took a 21 hour flight I probably drank a, a bottle of water and I went there and I trained my ass off the first day second day I tried to do it and the third day I was in the hospital yeah yeah man because dehydration, dehydration man yeah. and I learned my lesson but it didn't stop us we kept going and yeah. uh, man it was a good yeah. time man we, that we, was we, the scariest moment of my life oh, when man. he was dehydrated in the because hospital because we were we were in the cab okay we don't know anyone there we just got there we Got a cab and he starts cramping on our and on on the on the way wherever we were going. Yeah. We were going to the hospital at the time, yep. and he's cramping and we stop. I'm vomiting. Over. I'm throwing up. I mean, this is not no cramp on the back of my leg. This like is his all whole over. Body. All over. And vomiting. Then, you were super dehydrated. Yes, man. Yeah, the that's cab that's driver bad. pulled into a building. It's and like this, a parking lot. Like a parking lot. And this dude ran into a I building. Didn't run. <laughs> well, he just barged into this building and laid out on the floor. And I all mean, these like a corporate world building. Yes. Like these guys are on their cubicles. Their cubicles. They have AC. <laughs> yes. So, yes. He's laying down like this cramping. <laughs> and um, the ladies are looking like, what, what in the world is going I'm, on? There's I'm, a you can't be in here. <laughs> And then in uh, Thailand, black boy, get yes, out, black boy, get yes, out. And, I, I walked to the middle of their office, the middle of their work day, and, and just laid down lay the down floor. on the floor. And they're running with water. All our they belongings, passports, or everything are in the cab. She's panicking. And I'm shit. panicking. I'm like, oh shit, we're in a foreign country. Don't yeah, know anybody here. Sure. Our kids are home. Our family's home. Like, what is going to happen right now? And the cab driver was he he, he, he was good. Yeah. He waited on us and everything. Anybody else could have left. Yeah. Everything was there. Yeah. Most people in Thailand are like that. Like they'll mm. they'll help you eat and they're poor. Mm. Like super poor. Like I don't I barely have money to make it. But I'm gonna wait for these people because I'm gonna help them. They yes. need it, you know? Yeah. I've noticed that. Yeah. A it, lot of it, people it are. changed our lives, man. The yeah. way we think. I used to be I know personally, I used to be um materialistic facts yeah you know i need i need jordans i need air max i had so many this stupid stuff now i mean stuff really doesn't matter it doesn't it doesn't man so Not at all when we wear it's like thailand we go to the academy we come home we spend time with our family i'm still i wear flip-flops and shorts it's like i'm about to go to go training you yeah. know what i mean but yeah. it's it's i feel more complete on the internal side because uh you know i have everything that i need yeah and thailand really that put us into perspective because those guys you know what it's like trainers especially they smile every day but they all sleep in the same room yeah you if With you think from a western yeah your face move your face yes on a mattress sleep. on the floor yeah. I, before that i was how could you be happy from here but yeah. it's more than this you have yeah. everything you need yeah. you have a place a roof over you got food, your, yeah you got love. food you got love with your brothers or whatever you got everything so that that put us in a different mind state, man. So that was the biggest thing. You me. know, I, I I agree with that. Like like going, I've been all over the world too. Facts. Seeing the different uh, cultures and the way that people live, and and half of those people are happy, and then we're bitching about I don't have a blanket or, or something mm. dumb. It's like, but but you just have to stand up and go turn your heater down. You know, and mm. like what are we bitching about? You know what I mean? Like it's it's it shouldn't be like that you know it shouldn't be like that but uh okay 
Yeah, I got yeah. fancy stuff too. Oh, that's the thing. Like, cuts off I'm not like Joe back. Rogan. Like, <laughs> like he's got he's got this guy in the back. Yeah, what's Jamie. his name? Jamie. Jamie. Yeah, he he's did. in the back. He's got all the all the technical all details. The cool stuff. I got to do it all myself. Bro. <laughs> I'm watching all this shit. Hey, Jamie, yeah, he'll, he'll call you out for your shit too. He'll Google your shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, is. I got no, Google. That's I not got true. Google too, bro. I'll, I'll look <laughs> it up fact right check now. your ass. <laughs> fact check you. Fucking dumb shit. But that's you know, I think I think what put a lot into perspective for us was when we moved and we cleaned out closets and gave stuff away. It's like, what in the? What, what were we thinking? Yeah. We bought all this stuff and it sat in a closet. We never even used and it. And never used it. Yep. And now it's we're very particular how we how we how we use our money. Yeah, and um. I'm extremely grateful. It's just yeah. for the little stuff, right? I was, because I've seen the other side, just mm -hmm. like you, just like you. And uh, I was in the, the kitchen the other day and I was reading and I just got up and I grabbed me a, a, this water out the, out the tap. Yeah. I can do this. Yeah. You can, you can be thirsty and go here and, just, and drink clean water. Wow. Man, when we were at Sassy Prapa, me and Kevin, um, this is the water that we drank every day. They brought, a brick of ice in oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah and they put it on the floor which was concrete where everybody trained and broke it up on the dirty ass floor and then put it put in, in the in cooler the and then it would yep. melt yep. and everyone would take the same cup mm -hmm. drink it in there yep. and drink it put it back and like oh there's a bug in there yeah we keep drinking it but then you appreciate dude we can go to the tap and get some yeah some clean water you know what i mean yeah it's but you're gonna drink it. You thirsty, bro. No, that's what I'm saying. It. It's hot as shit. I don't give a damn what it is. And we know it's hot. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. I'm about to drink this shit. That so is hot. That, I didn't know you guys brought your kids out there. And I follow you guys, of course. Yes. You know, I, I, I support all Muay Thai people and, yes. and MMA people and everybody in our, in our business. Um, but I didn't know you guys brought your kids out there. That's a yeah. great experience. They, they got to grow up a little bit in a different yeah. country. That's yeah, dope. they, um, and what's crazy is they were so young, they don't remember the American life before the Thai life. Awesome. So, what they know right now is Thai life. Cool. You know, food, clothes, everything. Cool. They're just now like starting to learn, okay, this is the American style. Yeah, this I is, want some Jordans. Some I want some Jordans. I want an uh, yeah. Yeah. Michael Jordan. Now, now you can tell him, <laughs> no. <laughs> But, you know, they're, they're very smart, though. They learned a lot because, you know, now they can, okay, do I need a $200 pair of shoe or can I get five pairs of shoes for 200 bucks? Even at their age, they yeah. can analyze that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. But had it not been for Thailand, who knows? A lot of it is, is uh, again, ego. It's kids are going to tease you. Mm. I didn't grow up with money. I didn't have money. So I had cheap pants and wear the same pants all the time, right? And people, kids would tease you. So you would want other things. Like now that I'm adult, I wear the same pants all week. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? Oh, the wow. crotch. Yeah, yeah he's nah, good. Nah, just, good. Nah. just spray them. Yeah, but but like see, people tease you, and it gets to your ego. Mm -hmm. So, and, and if if you let that ego go, then then you're a better person, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. what, what 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 we do is since my kids have been. I started this thinking five years ago, and my son is nine. Okay. So I started giving him the knowledge at four years old, right? And I remember the first time, because, you know, kids' minds are open. I remember the first time that I felt that the ideas had, were implanted into his mind. We were, we were playing at the house, the old house. And uh, he said, you know what, Daddy? I can do this. I believe in myself. And when he said that, I knew it was working. I said, what'd you say? He said, I believe in myself. So now, even nowadays, especially my daughter, she doesn't care what you say about her. She knows who she is. Mm -hmm. She's comfortable with herself. So she That's can have a home. great thing to teach kids. Too. Yes. It's hard to teach kids in America. It's very hard to teach kids that. That's awesome. But, yeah. you know, I think that them being homeschooled helped a lot. Yeah. yeah. They helped too. yeah. And even now with COVID, they're at home. It's like Thailand. Well, it's them like being Thailand. homeschooled mm -hmm. by people who, who ingrain that in them mm -hmm. is good. Yeah, that's you know? true. Yeah. There's parents out there that don't. You and know? we listen to it all day. This isn't some... Some we just post memes on, or I'm a thinking man because <laughs> I think I'm smarter. No, no, no. I I came up with that name because I feel as though most people think that they think. However, they don't think. Yeah. You know what I mean? They yeah. they they just base their 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 decisions off of emotions. You can say something, man. Your shirt is ugly. Now nah, I'm mad. I want to fight. That's not thinking. That's yeah. not analyzing the situation. Maybe he doesn't like the color blue. Yeah. Maybe he's mad or something that his girlfriend said, and he's just reflecting himself on me. That's actually thinking. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we teach our kids to think. And uh, I remember Smart. when he was four years old, we would be driving and sitting in traffic. 
And my car is like a mobile classroom. So he knows about Napoleon Hill. He knows about Bob Proctor. Smart. He knows about Reverend. I mean, because I would just listen to it myself. Wait, who was the next person you were going to say? Uh, Reverend Ike. Reverend Ike. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but now he, they know Neville Miles Goddard, Monroe. Miles Monroe. Okay. Uh, Earl Nightingale. We listened to it. I listened to it because I needed to Reprogram. Brain, brainwash myself into a new way of thinking. Okay. Per se. All right. And while I'm here doing it to myself, he's in the back. She's in the back. My wife is in the side. We listen to it all the time. And then eventually you start thinking that way. So, like you say, you don't watch the news. Why? Because of what you're feeding yourself. Right? Because news is not about journalism anymore. It's about ratings. Yes. So, the news is, it's bullshit. Yeah. So, what are you that. feeding yourself, basically? So, yeah. I watch what I feed myself, watch what my kids feed themselves. And, man, we think completely different. Than, That's awesome. Yes, sir. I try to do that, too. I mean, I, I have... I don't have it ingrained in me yet, like the believing in yourself and all that, but I try, you know, and try to I, do I've noticed on your posts, your, your recent posts, they, they've changed. Yeah. They've changed man. since like the last, what, a year or so? Yeah. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Good job, man. Like you, you guys have already figured it out, you know, mm -hmm. like you have to be positive about things, man. I mean, having the worst time of my life or whatever, you still have to be positive. Well, I have this and I have food. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm glad you said that. And it works, dude. I remember... Um, I was having, I wouldn't call it a bad day, but a challenging day. It was during COVID. Uh, you know, we, we were open four days and then they said, you know what, y'all have to shut down. Right. So we yeah, I do come back from Thailand. We didn't know anybody. We spent all our savings bags and, you know, mats and all that stuff. Now y'all have to shut down. All right. It's more than being positive. Oh, that, that was my Go next ahead. question. Yes, uh, sir. Wait, 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 wait. Finish what you were saying. I cut you okay. right off, dude. You, you know, so you much can, you, you can call me. You can call me an asshole. You know, I didn't talk, and no, 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 cool. so, so, no, no, no. Finish, finish, finish. Yes, sir. Um, because it's more than being positive. If it's raining out here, I'm not just gonna say, "Oh shit, it's, it's raining, man." Uh, I'm gonna be positive, and it's gonna stop raining. No, no, no. I'm just gonna. How can I face this rain? You know what? Damn, I got an umbrella I bought last week. Let me put this umbrella on and go face this rain. That's more into it. So that day, I was having a challenging day, and I told Daisy, I'm saying, you know what? Let's just say what we're grateful for. Sorry. Let's just say what we're grateful for. So I go first, and then you go first. This, I said, oh, I'm grateful I can see. Oh, I'm grateful I can have this. I'm grateful I can. And then before you know it, my whole mood changed. Ooh, I got to do that. Partnership, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, huh. this is the start. What, what am I grateful for? It might be hard, but we did that shit. I remember that. I never forget that day, and that shit made everything. It made it bearable for that moment. And then, you know, I can still face this rain. That's what I needed. But if I didn't have that yeah. knowledge, I'd have been, man, bro, what the hell are we? I spent all my money on these mats, on this bag. I don't have any members. They made me shut down. You know, bro, well, fuck I, this. We I have a family face this rain. of five. That was me. Yeah. That was I'm about me. to face this rain. I'm about to, come on, let's go. That was me, for sure. But look at you now. Yeah, yeah. I mean. You faced it. I faced it. And, and you have to. You, you have, have a to. choice. You have Some to. people can't do that. So it's more than being positive. But it's you good know to it. have support too. Mm -hmm. You don't know how important that is to have support. Uh, I was talking to them earlier uh, and um, every fight that you have, competition fight you have, the girl is going to start a fight with you <laughs> every fucking fight. And it's subconscious. Like I was saying, it's subconscious. Um, it's because you're not paying attention to them. Your life is revolving around something else mm -hmm. instead of them. But when you have somebody that realizes that and you compete, which helps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That helped but, a lot. Yeah. But when you have that support system, it makes you better. Mm -hmm. It just does. So having her is great. A oh, facts. I appreciate this shit. For yeah. sure. Yeah, I mean, man, it's, yeah. it's true. I mean, so make sure this. Right. When that COVID shit hit, because I have my Daisy. Mm -hmm. Who was who, your, your Daisy? If, I, if, if, if you don't mind me asking. Man, I Was called, it internal? Was it, it was, God? Was it, it was the internal, higher self? What was it? And, and a little bit of that. I could be the most negative person in the fucking world. But, and then I have Primo Belrose. He's, he's my brother. Um, Shout out to Primo. Yeah. And then Kevin Ross. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. You know, I, they're, they're my good, great friends. And when I, when I can't handle it, I just call them and talk to them, you know, and, and they kind of walk me through it, you know. Because they always have, like, like you guys, they have a positive outlook. They're like, do you Especially have- Especially Kevin. Yeah. Hell yeah. You have all of this. What are, you, what, what are you doing? You know, you're thinking about all this negative, but you have all this on the positive side. Mm. And I don't think like that, you know? So you guys have already learned that, which is mm -hmm. great, you know? Yeah. That shit is crazy. And I really believe that everything happens for a reason. That's one of her mm -hmm. favorite sayings in attraction. Because, believe it or not, and I don't have any reason to lie, mm -hmm. but- um, 
I wake up every morning. I started this April 18th. I wake up every morning and I pray in the morning from like four o'clock to, to like 630 every morning. Right. Okay. And one morning I was praying and I thought about you because remember I told you just a few minutes ago that your post started changing. Yeah. Right? And you had posted some shit. And I mean, I still talk a lot of shit, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but I mean, far as on the mental side and actually fighting the shit, because I remember at one point your shit was mad. Like, damn, I need this. I need that. Yeah. And it was, yeah. But now it's starting to change. And so I had went to your messages. I went to your messages. And I'm like, man, I'm going to message him up just to, to check on him, just see how he's doing. Right. Then I said, nah, something else is like, nah, I'm going to wait. If he messages me, then I know it's, it's meant to be. And sure enough, man, you messaged me. We had the that's seminar crazy. yesterday, and here we are. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the yeah. way it works, man. Yeah. That's the and way it works. he even told me, you I think I should message Mark? I told, yeah. I said, that's crazy. Um, I, don't, I don't even remember what I said, but, you know, before this, I didn't know you. Yeah. yeah you know, I, know, I just, you know, yeah. off of Facebook or right. whatever. But, you know, I just felt like if it's supposed to be, it'll happen. Yeah. Just let it happen naturally. Yeah. So I, I pulled back a little because I didn't know how you was going to receive it. Just like, man, what is, you know, why is he messaging me? So that's why I was like, man, if he messages me. Sure you, enough. you didn't think I liked you. <laughs> like, oh, let's, let's, let's see what happens, man. Maybe he don't like me in this motherfucker. No. No, no. Every time we talk, we had good rapport. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Every time. You just so, don't know where people are mentally. Yeah, you know? And then I don't, I don't, because I've never, you know, I don't know. It probably would seem weird. So that's why, but sure enough, it happened and, and how we're, now we're man, here. I so. never want anybody to seem, uh, to feel weird by talking to me or asking me anything. You know, I, I've, I've had, five dollars in my pocket and seeing a guy with him and his two kids on the street i gave it to him you know mm. like, like like don't feel weird calling me just be like well if he's an asshole then hang up on me who cares but you yeah. know but i mean yeah. but i usually i'm i'm just that guy that help, helps people it kind of sounds like, do. It kinda sounds like you naturally yeah. have that principle yeah i mean that should be everyone you know um me one of my students um christian cortez he um he was, he's a Colombian, and what we did during the lockdown is we went and brought food to the Col Colombian community, the people. That wow. Came. Yeah. So I was like, I want to help you. And he was like, what? I'm like, yeah, why not? You know, and we got a bunch of food and we brought it and we gave it away. Let me ask you this. But so people needed it, you know, because that's that's a principle, that's a lot, yeah. right? A universal principle. Um, what did you learn there from? Did somebody tell you that? Or no. were you a young youth and you just, you know, what? I'm going to give this to somebody because. Where did that come from? Not, no, not at all. I, I just believe that, like, I don't know what I'm here on this earth for, um, but when I help people, it feels better. Mm. Wow. So why not do it? That's you know awesome, what I mean? And, and I have more than some people. So it, and I, if I have the means to help somebody, I will do it. If I don't have the means, then I can't do it. You know? I love but, that shit. When, when yeah. I help people, it feels better. It does. That's I good, like that, yeah. man. That's does. good. Yeah, you can hashtag that it shit. It does. Yeah. That's real. That's very good, yeah, Mark. Yeah, man. That's, I like that one. I'm I like that. that shit, yo. Hey, wait. We're here to talk about y'all, nah. motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, though, because nah, some people aren't real. like that. Yeah. You know, I, and for you to have it naturally and not really, I don't know if you know the law or not, but you apply it naturally and it is only yeah. obvious. Yeah. And, and, you know, I mean, you have to take the steps to make it happen. But when you do make it happen, I mean, if you're helping people, they'll help you later. Mm -hmm. if that's you're, very true. If you're hurting people, they're not going to help you. You know I didn't. I, mean? I didn't know that shit, man. About the helping people, my thing man. was not. If I need to get mine first before, but that's now because you're from America. Yeah, yeah. And Americans are like that. A lot of them. Yeah, man. That's uh. But I we've been applying it for the last well last mm, few months maybe. Yeah. Time. Me personally on the internal level, and it's been changing everything. So, but for you to have that naturally, man, that says a lot about you. Yeah, and, and you don't think about it. It's just in you. Like you help people, you know what I mean? Like, like when you guys are training people, you don't realize it. You'll realize it later. I get probably two, maybe one every couple of weeks, months of somebody saying how I changed their life mm. with Muay Thai. I, I didn't do shit. I just taught you how to punch and kick people, but, but it changes people's lives, dude, yeah. you know, and, and it's good. And that makes you feel good and make mm -hmm. you want to help people, you know? Yeah. yeah. I, um, it's, a, it's a guy named Robert. He's been training with us for a couple months now. Older two, gentleman. Three months. Three months? Yeah, he just and made three months. Three months? Okay. Two months, sorry. So about last month, he got on the scale. And I'm pretty even keel. She'll tell you. I mean, nothing really brings me up or down because, you know, I have a goal on my mind. And um, he got on the scale. And I think he had dropped how many pounds? 17 pounds. 17 pounds, right? And he got off. In three months? In two Not even. Um, about six weeks at the time. Dope. Yeah. And he, he got off the, the scale. And he's just, 
and he's happy, right? <laughs> and that made me feel good just to see him happy. Absolutely. So what you're saying is it should. Yeah. Yeah. You help people because, you know, it makes you feel better. That that's made right. me feel better. That's a principle that, that I'm going to keep forever. Just from that little moment. Absolutely. That's from learning. Absolutely. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Shout out. Shout out to Mark, man. Putting that knowledge out there. Yeah, for real. Yeah, man. It's y'all. Y'all bring it out of me, man. <laughs> that's hey, look. good. Like, look, there's, there's certain people that bring shit out of you. There's people that bring out the mean side of me. And I, I'm not saying I, I only have a nice side. I'm a, I'm a fucking bastard. You know what I mean? But, Are you? Oh, man. You know, there's certain aspects that are just, <laughs> just like that, dude. You know? But but you're if you keep yourself around good people, good things yes, will happen, you know? Facts. Yes. So whenever you guys... um um were in thailand mm -hmm. did you make money while you were out there or were you spending the money that you guys sold all your stuff from well to to make it out there no no well we took we took a chunk because i knew we're coming back that was a thing yeah. our plan original plan was five years okay okay so i'm not going to spend you know however 100 grand we had i'm not going to spend that whatever i'm just throwing a number out there right i'm not saying if it was more or less it could have been more <laughs> it was <laughs> 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 so i invested them let me put a chunk over here okay we need a car we need a b and c mm -hmm. we we need essentials all right so i'm going to spend that on this all right daisy had got the job uh for teaching we really didn't need that extra stuff but it was good to have for you know little stuff little tidbits and uh we just made it work <coughs> yeah we made it work man covid just kidding i COVID was waiting Brian. for covid <laughs> <laughs> yeah we just made it work but i'm i'm not okay. bullshitting before we left I spent countless hours. I can't even tell you the hours I spent on uh, money management, on investing, on um, just, just how to be a better steward over just financial. I read all the dummy books. I had a big pile of books. Those books are great, whether mm -hmm. people know it or not. Yeah, really man, really I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. You know what I mean? I read all of them. I went to the library for hours of the day. I was on YouTube just how to, okay, how to finance, how to do this, all right, how to, what, what so, I do with dividends, how do I invest? Okay. Go ahead. Now I'm going to pick you. No. What did you invest in? We you just, don't want to tell me you smile. He put, we just put it in money, okay. mon money management uh, yeah, accounts yeah. and yeah. just, you know. Yeah. I don't know so, about that. I mean, yeah. I invest in the S&P 500, so it's a long-term investment. Yeah. But. Yeah. We have some of that too. Yeah. And, uh, right. you know, just a lot of stuff. Right. right now, we're in Bitcoin. We're in gold. Nice. Uh, so that we're still doing it. Teach your kids how to do that now. Oh, of course, man. They uh, they actually uh, we jobs. pay them. They have jobs. We have them on payroll, and it's they have so their smart. own debit card. And yeah. out of that debit card, they can save, donate, and spend. So they donate ten percent. That's crazy. They save ten percent, and then they spend their I, other I've never eighty percent. Wow. Donating. My daughter was like, "Oh, I don't what to the puppies, to the paws, paws, like the paws something." Oh yeah, that's and, awesome. And the shoe, the kids who need shoes, yeah. she donates nice. like all the time. I, I didn't even know this, and then she just I donated this amount, and I'm just thinking, like you said, like, wow, that's a principle that she has that I didn't even have as a youth. That's amazing. Yeah, but to you me. guys, you guys ingrained that in them. Yeah, which, I didn't even know I ingrained parents, it. Yeah, you know what I mean? and yeah. That's, I mean, that's how it's supposed to work. Wow. Yeah. So I, I say this about my kids' class too, but but there there's there's no bad kids. I mean, okay, there's one psycho out of a million, you know, but <laughs> like some serial killer kid or something. But there's no bad kids. There's bad parents. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if you let your kids do whatever they want, man, I was a little asshole, you know. But if you let them do whatever they want, they're gonna do it. Like like you have to make your kids good. So if you, if your kids are good kids, it's because you're a good parent. Mm. That's why. It's a reflection, man. Absolutely. It's a total yeah. reflection on you. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you this. If a kid is tainted with those ideas that make them act a certain way, mm -hmm. how can you change that? How do you believe? So you can change it as, as like a martial arts instructor yes. like we are, but it's, it's very difficult because if it's not, um, uh, um, if it doesn't carry over into the home, the stuff that you're showing them, it'll never change them because the parents have to be the ones, you know, um, that, that tell them that that's, this is how it's going to be and, and draw the line, you know, mm -hmm. but to adults though, you think it's you the adults. Is, is it's, it possible? Oh, to change adults. Yes. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you have to change them in one way in, in here in the gym. Yes. And then if they carry it over into life, great and they usually do you know people yes. that stay with you long term will but um if they're in their short term and they're that young punk kid maybe not you know okay. but 
do, do, do you give those do you give your students that knowledge just like you just gave you know what i help people because it feels better do you give them that kind of knowledge or do I, you keep it only physical like punch no 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 do you no, give no, them no, something no. there's there's so many rules that that we have here you know that you never put your hands on your knees and uh, mm -hmm. because you gave up in your own head and, and you know there's little things that i do that's that's subconscious very I subtle tell them you know yeah. like I'm yelling at you because of this motherfuckers, you know, I don't, yeah. I don't tell them that, but, but there's reasons I do all this stuff and I think it carries over in, in, into their lives. I hope so. Anyway, you know, good, 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 I train good. only train good people. Uh, look, um, there's a gangster that came in here, not in here, but in a gym that I ran before okay. and you could tell he was going to go and use Muay Thai to bash on people. You know, I was like, no, I'm like what? I'm you, I'm not, you can't train here. Wow. I mean, you can't. You turn down the money. Yeah, man, fuck the money. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. Really? You know? I like yeah. that because that's the energy that they'll be bringing into your academy. For sure. And not only that, you're going to brand that dude that you, yes. he goes out there and, and slices up, you know, um, it's some very dangerous. or something. It's yeah. bad, dude. It's bad. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to teach you to go maim people. I mean, I will in the ring, but not yes. like in a, it's a competition. You know what you're getting yourself into, you know? Yeah. But yeah, it's a bad thing. Wow, man. Do you find that like you have people who come in and energies don't mesh with yours and they they pay and they never come back because no, the energy I, or I mean that's why I let them try some free stuff like like if, if you guys have a gym you mm -hmm. let them try it if, if they like it they stay if they don't like it then they don't you know um I want everybody to like it there's a lot of gyms out there that want 500 members but they don't want them all to come if I have 500 members I want them all to come mm -hmm. I yes. want them all to come because I want them to enjoy it and get better and that's what you should want as a coach mm -hmm. you know you you don't want people to not come you know so I want people to come and when they do um, they see the difference yes uh, let me ask you this how much do you care because you know you like you said you have guys that come in some coaches don't care like you say I want 500 members right. I just don't want them to do you have guys you know everybody every time somebody comes in here I want them to learn Muay Thai I care about them growing or is that something that kind of happens over time no they you that's the reason you teach it right yes. I'm asking you yes. yes of course of course so you want them to learn you want them to get better right i i don't want them to just come in here just every once in a while i want everybody to come in and you guys should want that too you know you yes, want people facts. to come in and get better well, and it'll change them man like like i don't just want a it's hard to keep track of 500 people i don't have 500 people but it's hard to keep track of 500 people but you try your best like where you been at you know you haven't been here in two weeks you know yeah Why? do you ask yeah i ask right. every time okay Why? Yeah. Why because do you ask? The, the because they're going to be with you. I know. Let's <laughs> <laughs> turn into an interview again. <laughs> Talk <laughs> shit with TJ and Dave. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so, like, uh, uh, I ask because I want to hear what they say. What? Why weren't you here? Oh, work. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody works. But, yeah. You know, I mean, see why they didn't come or whatever. And sometimes it's legitimate, you know. I mean, I, I had to go to New York. Something happened with my mother or something. You know, yeah, that's fine. But I asked them because I, I legitimately want to see them in the gym. Oh, okay. You don't message, though. You just wait till they come back and then you ask No, them. no, I message people, too. Okay. I, I message people. If they don't come for a couple of weeks, they get a message. Where are you at? Yeah, are you yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is everything okay? okay? Especially during the COVID thing, I, I try to make sure everyone was okay, you know? Okay. And, and I mean, most people are. They're okay. They're Did just, they check on you? Did you have a lot some, of students? Some, uh, okay. some people check on you. I know that, I know that felt man. good. I know no, that felt good. Yeah, yeah. It's good, you know. I mean, you guys are interviewing me. What the fuck just happened? I am. <laughs> We're interviewing you, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've been kind of a loner my whole life. So, like, people checking on me is not like, uh, doesn't really happen that often. But some people do, you know. And it's good to feel that way that, that you, you have a family. Like, my shorts say uh hyena family on them we're a family you know mm. every gym is a family you know mm. we're all brothers and sisters you know what i mean i mean while we're in there sweating together yeah. it's just how it is you know yeah yeah that's good yeah yeah, yeah. so that's okay awesome. so you guys um okay you fought in muay thai max a yes. bunch okay yes. so you know my bro dorian yes love dorian he's crazy yeah 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 he might have elbowed me once or twice <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you a story about Dorian. The only time I didn't bring my mouthpiece to practice, his foot went right here. Ouch. Bang. And I never get high kicked either. Bang. I'm like, perfect. Anyways. So, uh, yo, yo, uh, Dorian was a, 
he was he was he was great out there. I like yeah. He was like family out there because yeah, for sure. you know he worked at Max also, mm-hmm. and um, I remember when I first got to Thailand, he was at Calfatech, which is in Phuket. He was training there with Noah from California. I don't okay. know if you know him. I don't. I, I might. Yeah, if you see him, I, I know you know him. But uh, yeah, man, we went out there and hung out a little bit. That's that's when Dorian had just got his arm broken. Uh-huh. Yeah, and um, so we stayed in contact. He traveled around a little bit. Then he got on at Max. I had fought locally before. A lot of people don't know. I was fighting locally before I even got to Max. You, you know have what to. I mean? You can't just get in Max. Yeah, they just, uh, yeah. man, I was fighting in, you know, bullshit stadiums, but <laughs> it was it was worth it. Right. To me, that was the best time. I actually like fighting at those locals a little bit better because they don't make you rush. On Max, you can be winning on points and, hey, no, go forward. They want that. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, but at the other stadiums, you can take your time. The, the, the pay is bullshit, and, you know, it's very dangerous because uh, the, the ring is very slippery. But I actually like taking my time a little more. I don't really like coming forward and grabbing. That's too dangerous. But I was forced to do that on Max. But um, yes, he does. Yeah, <laughs> he's good at it. He's really good at it. Yeah, but she'll tell that. you, at Central Pole, they teach us the more yeah. technical, yeah. and that's the way I like to fight. But um, man, Dorian, man, Max, he always was there. He cornered me every fight. I think every fight except for that once yeah. we had to travel. Yeah. But yeah, he cornered me every fight. Rubbed me down every fight. Um. Man, he t- he's family. Yeah, he's family, man. Yep. After every fight, we was going to his room mm-hmm. and just hanging out. Hang me, out. Dorian, and him. Me, Dorian, and Daisy. And we was doing a lot. Eat uh, salmon downstairs. Yeah, yeah eat salmon down. He'll <laughs> yeah. tell you. Yeah, I'm not going to put it in everything. <laughs> but we had a good time, man. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, in my last fight, because I had switched. I was at Citripole for about, about three and a half years. And then I switched to Phuket Fight Club. Um, and they sponsored me. So I didn't. I didn't have a, a corner in my last fight, and Dorian and Cyrus Washington cornered me. And uh, you know DJ Jackson, yeah, yeah, he cornered all three of those yeah. guys cornered me. In my didn't last he fight. Train at like Lloyd Fairtex. Irvin, Lloyd Irvin, Fairtex. Yeah, he said Fairtex. I know yeah. he does their jujitsu stuff out there. Yeah, man. yeah, because he's a Lloyd Irvin guy. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, you're yeah. About so him. all three of those guys uh, cornered me in my last fight, and then uh, and Cyrus. Okay. Yeah, he I'm gonna, was that right a couple here. weeks ago. Cyrus is gonna fight David Du. Finally, didn't they fight Again. before? Yeah, so uh, and it's in Lethway, right? Yep. So headbutts and elbows and and okay. So here's yeah. the I think the reason and I think Cyrus set it up. I don't know. I know Cyrus is he's a friend of mine, but because Cyrus beat him before. Yeah. So when uh, Dave Ledoux was on like Joe Rogan and all this stuff, he was like Cyrus, like what? The I'm the first king in Lethbridge. What you talking about? So I think he set up the rematch. Let's yeah. do it. Let's yeah. see it. Let's get it in, man. It's going to be good. I'd like I'm, to see I'm, it. I'm pulling for Cyrus all the way. Cyrus, yeah. if you kiss this man, get on his ass like a cheap soup. <laughs> <laughs> cheap polyester soup. Yeah. I'm pulling for you, bro. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be good regardless. But that Dave DeLuc, isn't Dave, Dave DeLuca is his name? Dave, Dave Ledoux. Ledoux. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's he's not a joke. He's not a, he's not oh, a he's pushover. Good. Yeah. He's, he's got some, Yeah. He got some smoke. Yeah. He actually sure. had, uh, remember, Eddie was going to fight him. You know, Eddie Powerhouse, Eddie and Brooke, Eddie Pharrell from Australia. Mm-mm. I think they was going to fight for a while. Australia has good Muay Thai fighters. Oh, yeah, man. they do. Yeah, for sure. Australia, England, France. England. England. France, yeah. France has good guys. Man, we have a Savat guy that comes here. Oh, yeah. that uh, I forgot his name. Rita. Yeah. <laughs> he's that freaking frustrating to spar, yo. Bro, he's good. <laughs> like, I'm like, what the? Does he still spar with shoes on? Yeah. <laughs> for real? Yeah. He's gonna kick you all of your sins with shoes oh, on yeah. and pants. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to it. You're you're fighting in these little little stadiums, which I, I like too. I never fought in big stadiums, but I fought in little places in Thailand. But okay, let's 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 talk about this. Okay. Pay. Okay. Um Muay Thai Max, when you got paid, mm-hmm. did you get the money or did your camp get the money? Oh, uh, I got the money. Okay. Um at Citripo because I wasn't sponsored. Believe it or not, I was there for a while, but you know, I paid my dues just like everybody else. I pay a membership. So at the end, when I will fight, I get everything. Okay. But you know me, I'm going to show love. You got to show love to your trainers. Of course. Yeah. And I give a little bit to, um, to Elf. I would give just, just to, just to show love. But, uh, when I got to Phuket Fight Club, you signed a contract. I was sponsored. And, uh, how much was it? I think it was 30. I think it was 18 to 20%, something like that. 18 to 20%. They book your fights. Is what you get or is what they no, get? No, this is what they get. Okay. Yeah, they show love. They book your fights. So originally they had me on Super, Super Max. Champ. Super, super Max. Champ. Yeah. I was, super Champ. Yeah. Mm. They had me to fight main event on there. And I got booked 
at um, Max at the same time. Okay, so I don't We're know back. where my camera's fucked up again. So every one of my podcasts has been like that so far. But um, let's start back with um, you guys were fighting in Thailand yes. and you made the money because you weren't sponsored by the gym. Yes. So now let's say you're sponsored by the gym and all you do is uh, train and fight and you don't pay to train there. Mm -hmm. Who gets the money? Uh, I was in that situation at Phuket, actually, Phuket okay. Fight Club. And uh, when you come, you sign a contract. You know what I mean? So I signed it. They get tw 18 to 20%. They book your fights. So uh, my last fight, I don't know, I, think I made, made about 32000 but okay all right, which is small all right so when i get in i'm honest they expect you to be honest they're not sponsoring anybody you know what i mean when you get there they they, they fill you out they um and then they accept you into your brotherhood or whatever you want to call it so they trust you and uh so when i got in there here's here's your money you know? oh they give you the money and then you give it to them yeah because there's a bunch of people that were angry that um that book out and make all the money when he fought in K1. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of money in K1, you know? Yes. But people don't understand that they don't make the money. The, their owner, the, the owner. Uh, yeah. You know, no, I mean no, you're right, like though. That. No, no, you're right. They make the money. Yeah. And you get a cut of it for living there and fighting. Yes. But that's why he opened his own place, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I don't know about the other guys. Maybe um, Lobo or, or Lewis, the, you know, they fight at the Raja Durnham and the big, bigger stadiums. Maybe, maybe so, because those guys are fighting for stupid amounts, two, three hundred thousand with a million dollar side bets. Yeah. So maybe it's like that with them. Um, I only fought for Phuket once because that was on the, the end of our, our trip, our stay. And uh, I, me and Daisy, we flew out there to, to um, Pattaya alone. Then Dorian, that's when Dorian and Cyrus and DJ cornered me. So afterwards, I already knew the promoters and stuff, and I knew the, the owners and all that of Max. I've been there 18 yeah, times. Yeah, Rob, Rob Cox, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and uh, good buddy of mine, man. Yeah. yeah, we always, yeah, man, I'm really, really, really good friends with him. So I, I went upstairs, got my money in my envelope, got my little bonus, and then we left. All right. And then when I got to the Phuket Fight Club here, this is what I made, here, 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 here. And then that was it. So nice, yeah. But that's, I don't know about a, a million dollars. Yeah, million dollar yeah if you have a million dollar, a million dollar bet or a million dollar fight, I don't know how it works. Right. I would think that uh, they're not gonna give that to me. They're, you I ain't think, getting yeah. shit. Yeah, <laughs> I made that bet. Here's you ain't you getting part yeah. of it. That's like saying that the the guy who bet on me uh, in Vegas is gonna give me a cut of it. Nah, nah fuck, I ain't nah, giving you nah, shit. He ain't giving you nada. <laughs> but uh, if you were, let's say that you were uh, an owner out there, gym owner, and Ramel fought. Okay. And you set up everything, and he's staying in, under your stable, and that fight was for 400000 yeah. I would think that as the owner, you would get it, and then you would give him his cut. My yeah. shit was minuscule yeah. compared to those bigger bets. So That's what I heard that's how why. it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. I can only speak from personal experience. Yeah. I would think that it was the way that you heard. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see Clayton yeah. uh, giving you know, the other guys, here's $400, give me what you make. No, 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 I think he'll take it. I don't know. But yeah. me thinking logically. That's what I think too. Yeah. I would think so. What you think, baby? I agree. Yeah. I would. Yeah. That's the big money. Man, those guys out there are phenomenal, too. Shout out to Phuket Man. Fight Club. I can't recommend, if anybody hears me, if you go to Thailand, I recommend Phuket Fight Club out of, out of any spot. Man, those guys are phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. I, they train they hard, hard, Mark. Yeah. Very I mean, hard. <laughs> Yeah. Hard. <laughs> hard, man. Every day. Every so single So hard, I had to session. laugh about it. These man, yeah. it was hard, man. Yeah. Every day, two times a day. There's no slacking. You no. know how it is. Morning I training, you take it easy. You know, yeah, it's about, it's about in the morning time. You train hard in the evening. No, no, it's hard all the time out there. They didn't do that to us when I was out there. We train hard both times. Try to kill day. you, right? It's yeah. too hot out here for this shit. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah and then we what do you do in between? They tell me. <laughs> you sleep. sleep. You're tired, man. Yeah, you sleep and eat and sleep. And that's it. That, that, it that, that's how you get better. That's how you get good. It is. Yeah. People ask, how you get so good in Thailand? Man. But think about it. I used to think that if you go to Thailand, it automatically made you better. No, nah, man, you got to put the work in. <laughs> think about, I thought that shit, as man. As soon as I stepped on Thai yeah. soil, I was better at Thailand. <laughs> Motherfucker. No. That's what I thought, man. You no. had guys going for two or three weeks. I'm thinking, they come back, they about to kill me. Mm. Bro, he was out there three weeks, man. You're just getting over this jet lag. Yeah, yeah. You got to be out there for a while. Yeah. Listen. Do what they say. 
and this fight and then just do your best and you'll get better quick and clinch with guys that are like tiger Thai mm. kids throwing me on my head i'm like yeah. you little bastard i could pick you get Man, but he just dumped me to. on my head son of a mm-hmm. yeah Man, 115 20 pounds and they can i didn't believe it but I've experienced it. You man. believe it now? I believe it now, man. <laughs> I was out there for, for some years and it was still guys in the rock. Yeah. He was about how much do you think he weighs? Like 140, maybe 130, maybe? Maybe 130. And I was walking around maybe 160 and he would still kill me. Yeah. Kill me. Yeah, they but. had, remember Swing? He weighed like 86 pounds, maybe Ooh, max. Oh, he was murdering people. A skinny stick. Skinny little guy, yeah. like this hot tall. But his technique. Yeah, man, you got to tell these guys, man. I mean, I do. I me. tell them. I don't think they believe me, though. There, there's like, ain't no 118 pound guy going to throw you on your head. Yeah, and he was 14. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. son of a. Yeah, Real yeah, story. For sure. Yeah, I didn't believe it. So you guys stayed in Thailand for four years, and uh-huh. I didn't know you brought your kids. That's awesome. Yes. And then uh, you fought a lot, and you fought mm-hmm. too, mm-hmm. and you trained every day too, mm-hmm. right? And you taught. And I taught. Mm-hmm. And then, um, then you came back here, and you're from Houston, right? Yes. And you moved to San Antonio. San Antonio. And you guys opened a gym. Yes. Yes. What's the name of the gym? Uh, Kingdom Martial Arts Academy. Kingdom Martial Arts. Okay. Yes. And where is it? San Antonio, Texas. Okay. And you guys have been open for how long? Oh, five months. Since uh, four days before pandemic. They well, shut they us shut down. us down, so I don't count. So we've really been open officially since May 18th. May 18th. Okay. Yes. So let me go backwards. Mm-hmm. How the fuck did you do that after you left thailand because you spent a bunch of money in thailand yes and i know that it costs a bunch of money to open a gym yes so did you guys do that all on your own yes awesome. i told you man this i can't the law works the law works man all right and uh it was actually the last yeah i want to check go okay, ahead the, the on. my last fight we were in the hotel i think i fought i may be fighting in about three hours you know what i mean so we were just online daisy was looking online and uh, it was either San Antonio, Dallas, or Austin. Houston was not even on the map. Okay, mm-hmm. it's out of okay. those three places. She was scrolling down. Damn, this is a nice place. But, and I looked at it, and I said it. I mean, damn, this is it. It has everything. It's in blah, blah, blah. This is it. It's going to happen for us. I didn't, we didn't know anything. We didn't email them. I didn't know. We but sent I a message it. then. Yeah, I'm saying, I mean, far as that, initially, I just said, this is it. I'm going to create this. We're going to get this spot. And so we sent the email to the realtor. Mm-hmm. So I fought that day. Um, and then we were in town maybe, I don't know, a, a week a week later. And uh, we just hit the ground running. We came in on a Thursday. And then that Friday was that Monday. That Monday we were in San Antonio. Saturday. We were Saturday, in, yeah. Saturday. Saturday. We, were in San Antonio. we came in Thursday. And Saturday, to- Saturday we were in San Antonio talking to the realtor. Yeah. Nice. We, we started our DBA. We started the LLC right mm-hmm. there at Chick-fil-A. This mm-hmm. bop, 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 bop. We're gonna start it right here. And you started eating Chick Fil A oh, first yeah, day. I had to, man. <laughs> What's the first thing we got when we got back? I can't even remember. I don't know. All I remember was um, our aunt was in the hospital. We went to Papa's and we paid fourteen dollars for a baked for potato. A baked potato. And you were like, we, "Fuck, fuck America!" Fuck. Yeah. That's bullshit. <laughs> we just landed like two hours before. So when we hit, the, we looked at each other like a baked potato. I said it during. during yeah, it was yeah. drive through. I'm like fourteen dollars. Yes, the lady said. Fourteen dollars. She was just like normal, like yeah, like, yeah like, what? Duh. Good lord, it's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. But uh, hey, it happened, man. So um, we we got the facility. We started doing uh, seminars. We started traveling. We went to I don't know, uh, Florida. Florida. No. Florida. Yeah, we didn't yeah, go to Florida. Florida Virginia. Virginia. We went to like four or five places, and um, we got the keys after we traveled. We 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 got the keys. We we started doing the renovations on the spot. We opened up on that. I don't know. Thursday or like something. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday or Friday. And then four days later, they sent out that mandatory Monday. shutdown. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all got to close this shit down. Yeah. And it was kind of like, damn. Okay. So, you know, guys that already have academies and gyms, they have clientele. Students. They have memberships already. They, they're they still getting paid. We just spent everything. Yeah. But with kids during the and pandemic. All stuff, yes. Um, um, I'm not going to charge people. And so you got, so I got paid zero. Mm. so it's it's look um i can't uh, live with myself and charge people for a gym membership that's not open Mm -hmm. and then what if they don't have a job anymore or they're they're not working as well so i'm I'm gonna keep charging them but people don't think like you man i know there's a lot of people that i personally know that charge people anyway 
you know, and they said they would pay it back later somehow, which is good. It's it's okay, but I, I couldn't charge people, dude. I couldn't. Can't do that. Can't yeah. do that. Facts. Know? And it sucked because the place that I I, I rent mm-hmm. were like, fuck you, pay me. They yeah. were like good fellas, bro. You yeah, know? I mean, you like, say this so, shit. Whatever. We, we're, we're making it and we made it. And they're finding, in my opinion, they're finding out that the, the pandemic isn't as bad as they thought. Yeah. Yeah. So turn off your TV. That's that's what I say. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I think I think the leaders during this pandemic were exposed. What what, what, the leaders? Leaders leaders, like people with leadership. Yeah, yeah. I were the ones who actually made it. Those that were like you say, charging people or whatnot. I we know I know of some that didn't make it through the pandemic. Yeah. They shut down. You know. But those real true leaders, people who think differently, they they rose fighters yeah yeah i did i did zoom classes and, and i was i didn't charge anybody but i i did zoom classes every day mm. i did zoom classes every single day wow. and i paid for zoom too so i was given money but I, I mean they're they're your students you take care of them you know they're they're your friends they're your family so for whoever wanted to do it and i did it for people that weren't even members of my gym if wow. you want it if you want not every day but every day for the members of my gym but other people if you want to do it come do it you know i mean why not that's awesome i have the means to do it let's do it right yeah yeah so i'm in the gym jump up and down do this <laughs> fucking stupid shit I, I, I wasn't a fan of it but we had like you said we had to face the rain yeah okay so i went okay damn so what can we do so we didn't have members so we said all right we can offer online but we can do it uh we can add more to it because uh i'm thinking to myself all right if i had a membership and Joe Blow that I train at, he's uh, um, he's still doing classes and stuff. I'm going to train with him. I'm not, not going to go to this other guy that I don't know but unless he was giving me something extra. Right. So uh, we did everything, man. We 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 um we would give you an online course like homework and stuff. Um, I edited videos, custom videos. Nice. I would have you send in your workouts, your homework, and I would do voiceovers for it. So now I would draw like I learned how to edit edit even better. So I would draw like circles and squares and. You look at your foot. It should be facing this way. Why is your hands down? I would draw an X or something. Look, it should be this way. You know what I mean? We, we did extra nice. to it. Yeah. And That's good. Yeah. I mean, we had to face the rain. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that shit worked. And yeah. so it, it sustained us. I think, we had, I think we had about 15 or 16 mm-hmm. online members. From all over the world. From all over the Australia, world. I mean, Australia, t- Thailand. Good. Thailand. Sweden. I mean, Singapore, Sweden, everywhere. Awesome. Yeah. And awesome. Yeah. But we didn't know. Think about this. We didn't know. But it worked. We faced, we grabbed our umbrella, we faced the rain. Yeah. And um, actually, we still have a couple of them. We still have some online guys. I don't like doing it anymore, but we build such a good relationship. But like, we have some guys from, from Canada. They had only been training for about seven months, right? And it was two of us, two of them. And so we sent them through a clinch package, right? And now, I swear, I have video proof. They're killing everybody at their gym. Yes. Yeah. Everybody, everybody in the clinch. Even their be- best um, clincher. Yeah, they're yeah. killing him. Yeah, yeah, good. yeah. But we really, I did the best. We did, we did the best that we could. And Daisy was doing like the, like the homework assignments, the paperwork, and make sure you guys. Man, it was amazing the way it worked. Yeah, man. that's cool. Good stuff, I, man. I cut off the Zoom classes. Yeah, because it's time to go to the gym. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you know yeah. what I mean. But that's awesome. You guys did that, and and yeah. it's working. That's yeah. the hard part. I, you can't fucking teach martial arts over a video. Mm. You have to actually do it, but yes. but if they have a gym and they're trying this stuff and then you're uh, critiquing it and then you can do, I think you can do that. Yeah. Yes. You know. Yeah, because everybody was at home, so these yeah. guys were at home with their own bag and stuff, and they were getting better. Yeah. Awesome. They were getting they, better, I, man. They all improved actually. All of them. All improved. of them. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. and the ones, few of them even came down to visit. Ron, Phil. Oh, yeah. oh one of the guys that we was training online, he fought last week. Yeah, and he and won. won the belt. And won. Yeah. Never trained yeah. before. Before trained coming before. to us really? online. Online. Where, where where was the fights at? The, what was Dallas, it? Oklahoma. Arlington. Dallas. Oklahoma. Was it? Arlington. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ex- Furry. Oh, Fury. 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 Fighting yeah. Fury fighting. Yeah. 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 All right. Cool. And uh, he won, man. He won. He won twice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, in one night. <laughs> in, in one, one night. night. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. He, he fought under us. Yeah. All right. He fought under us, yeah. man. Yeah. Man. Only That's teaching so. him online. He'd Only come teaching over him online. What, once a month, maybe. Yeah. He came. Well, he would come over. He came over the last two months because the pandemic was down, and he was training with us. So he improved that way. Nice. Yeah, man. I'm so proud of him. Shout out to Phil, man. Good job, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's so awesome. It can work. That is super awesome. Yeah, yeah. 
Man, you scare me, man. Man, What's going dude, on? I look. <laughs> keep on looking at the shit. Don't, don't address when I look at this camera <laughs> shit. Like, I'm going to have to do a whole redo on my... You I have scare me, man. I have technical difficulties on my channel. I will fix it, and the podcast will be, be better. We have great information yes. on here, but it, it will get better and better as Thanks. time goes on. But you should subscribe to my channel anyway. Just please uh, do it. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah. How many podcast? How many shows have you had? I think this is going to be eight. Okay. Oh, good. And and all of them have technical difficulties. One of them was I was blurry the whole time. And, uh, is it it's just the whole thing? Yeah. But is, I'm working on it. You know? is, is it the same channel that you put your fighting on? Because no, I, no, I subscribed no. to that channel. That's why I was able to comment. Like, no, I have Ramil two. Is. I have two. One of this one's is talking shit with Beach. Okay. That's, I think I subscribed to that one too. Yeah. Do you have Quentin on there? I did have Quentin. Okay. On there. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah he's a cool cat. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, yeah. He's the guy. He's the guy. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen him in a while. Man, he has a podcast too. It's a, a like the white, white, bl black, black man, guy, white black voice, man, white voice, <laughs> interview and voice. I kind of, uh, I kind of broke it down. He's black, but mm. it, it, this is kind of racist, though. Like mm. he talks like he's white. Mm. Oh, we all talk the same, but it, you know, he just doesn't have like an accent. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, but it was good, dude. He he's a cool cat. Yeah, Super how's he nice. doing? He's still training? No, I haven't seen him train in a while, man. Okay. He's busy with family and everything like okay, that. But yeah, that's, but yeah man, that's he should how come it goes, train. Beach. He, uh, he should watch this and come train. Yeah, man, get, to, yeah, get some work, Quinn, man. Stop <laughs> bullshitting. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that's that's how we usually go. And, and that was at the crossroad that I was at. Because um, think about it, man. What are you going to do with all this? Like you said earlier, man, I've been doing uh, Muay Thai for this year. What else can I do? Mm -hmm. I had almost got to that point. You remember, babe? Mm -hmm. And uh, I had lost my last amateur fight. And um, I was working night shift. I couldn't train. I was working from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And then I would sit in traffic, you know, that 45 traffic in the morning. For sure. To go train by myself. Nobody's there that early, right? Mm -hmm. And I lost my last fight. And I said to myself, all right, if I continue down this path, working and trying to train, it's not going to work. So either, one, either I'm going to stop fighting or and then I'm gonna hate myself for it, or you know what? What else can I do? I gotta go. You know what I mean. And so that's where the idea originally started from. It started from that loss. You know what I mean. And me continuing to wanting to train Muay Thai, I loved it so much. And I said, okay, only way I can get better is if we go to Thailand. Okay, what can I do for it? How can I get there? And that's what started it, man. So yeah, for for people that have taken losses in life in general, take those lo those losses and do something with it. Learn from it. Make let it make you better. Because that yeah. loss made me better. I went down and I said, you know what? F this. I'm going to get better. I need to travel. I need to get out of this program. What can I do? How? And, um, you know, the way, the way was uh, shown. Yeah. If it drives you to make you better, it, it, or it can either drive you or it can break you. Mm -hmm. So make it drive you, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you really want it, make it drive you. Yeah. If you don't, then you never really wanted it. Facts. Yeah. Facts. For sure. Yeah. That's the thing. That's, that's what I think everybody should pursue in life. That thing that calls you. Imagine if you, if I said, "All right, Mark, man, you can't train Muay Thai, man, for, 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 for the next two years. You're gonna be thinking about it damn near every day, yeah, itching and for you that have shit. to go sit in the office oh, every day, cubicle, oh. man, and listen to somebody that don't know shit about shit." I said that this morning. Yeah, Yo. when we went to get your coffee and shit, yeah. he was like, "I said, man, there's three people in there talking about straight bullshit." <laughs> and I, and as soon as I got in the car, the first thing I said was, "I'm so glad I don't work in corporate America." Cause that's all we used to do. Talk shit. Yeah. Bullshit about irrelevant shit that didn't get you anywhere. About life that, oh, this is bullshit. This is bad. This is, bullshit. This yeah. is bad. This no, is bad. We don't no. want to talk about that. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's talk about getting better. Let's, Let's talk, talk about getting stronger. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about goals. Goals. goals yes. Yeah. And, and you know, look, a lot of it has to do with you guys have been to other countries, you know, and, and like when you see people that live in a house that doesn't have a fucking roof, mm. it changes you. It changes you, you know, yeah. like, like you're like poor like poor like uh you don't have gas money yeah uh, that's there's a big difference in poor you and know poverty yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Ah, it's good you see that and then you're like oh you know we we can we can do better yes you know? yes uh, i think that was a bit somebody asked me that on um on instagram and uh what was the biggest thing about thailand and it was more than the muay thai you know of course your muay thai gets better but it's the per the people that we became out there because mm -hmm. all we had were, were each other, Mark. Yeah. We didn't have, I can't, you know, it was my books. It was my wife. It was my family. It was the internal. It was meditation. It was prayer. And when we came back, that's why we were able to face COVID. 
If you would have called us maybe a few years ago, maybe I would have been pulling out my hair and panicking and this and that. But I took that shit like a leg kick. COVID hit, we got to shut down. Come on, give me another one. Yeah, yeah, you tap your leg. Like, <laughs> and we took that shit, man, and, yeah. and we made it. Yeah. So it, it, it made us, it made us, it made us stronger. That's, that's mentally. See, that's why I ask all this stuff, you know. I mean, I mean I'm interested too. But I want to know how, how you did it. How did you do that? Like, yeah. I, I, I don't think I knew if I could do it. I could have done it now that I think about it. Yeah. But back it's, in the day, I don't, I don't know. But it sounds simple. You it's not mean? simple, though. It's not simple. Like, I, mean, I was <laughs> waiting for you to crack. I was waiting for that. It's simple. <laughs> it's you know, simple. I'll say, ahead, I'll say your mentality determines how simple or how difficult it can be. Mm, that's good. You know? That's good. Because um, I say that mentally we were strong in 2016. Yeah. To take on the challenge that we took, take our whole family, go to the unknown. We don't know these people. We've never even had visited Thailand. Matter of fact, I had never even traveled outside of the country, you know? And so coming back, the way I looked at it was, okay, We've experienced Thailand. And when I say experienced Thailand, I mean everything about it. Coming here, it, was, it, it felt like we've been through this shit before. What we got to do to get to the other side of this? And yeah. we already knew mentally how to do it. We ha Thailand was like a preparation for us. Yeah. So when we came here, it's, all right, how do we face this? We're strong yeah. mentally. Well, we got to figure it out. Yeah, let's, yes. whatever yeah. it takes. You yeah. know, and I'm sure you, I, the way that you speak and the way, I mean, the way it looks in here, I would say, you would probably do the same. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. I mean, you have to either do it or not. That's it. Or try or not try. Right? Yeah. I feel like if you're going to do it, do it all the way. Otherwise, don't ever start. For sure. Absolutely. That's my mentality. I agree. Yeah. It's good shit. It's good yeah. stuff. That's good. You guys are very enlightening. No, very no. positive people. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I like that good. shit. I need more of that in my life. <laughs> I do. It's you can awesome. call us anytime, Mark. Yeah, I will. I, told you, man. I didn't know that you were this close. You know what I mean? This is my first time coming yeah. to, the, to the new spot. Yeah, my mom is seven minutes away. So yeah, every time I come, man, I'm going to come in and yeah, bring you some, dude, you guys some, welcome some extra time. sweet coffee. Oh, yeah. yeah. He got tattoos yeah. and stuff, but he likes his coffee extra, extra candy. sweet. <laughs> I like the, uh, I like the immortal, I like the immortal coffee, too. <laughs> so so one immortal coffee. Oh, what from Matt Brown? Yeah, my dude, oh, okay. Matt Brown. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he makes coffee now. He has all kinds of coffee brands. It's really good. He's very inspiring to me, man. Like I've never met him, but the way that he brands himself, I wish a few people. that motherfucker. Just kidding, man. Yeah, he's awesome. Brand. He follows me, man. And, yeah. and when I, I follow him, I'm just like, damn, that's what I like. Who yep. is this? Matt Brown? Matt, Matt Brown. Brown. Yeah. Oh, he fought in the UFC. Him. Yeah, yeah. I've he heard of him, in the UFC. But yeah. I've never. Don't he wants some of that smoke with Connor. He wants it. Yeah. And man, I, 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 he posted some shit, talk, you know, talking shit. Like, yeah. And then I was like, I'll train you for free for Connor. Yeah. yeah. I, know, yeah. I know how to beat him. His clinching style is, is outstanding for an MMA fighter, man. Dorian, I mean, uh, Dorian trained Matt a lot. Yes. I trained Matt too. But Dorian's clinch, you know, Dorian, if he could fight, let's fight a fight with only elbows, he'd be like, I'm down. Yeah. Let's go. That's Dorian. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it all me meshed together, you know? Yeah, shout out to Dorian. And a lot of people don't Dorian's know it. awesome. He's one of the, the, the best teachers of Muay Thai. Yeah. That, that I've ever met, yo. Like his yeah. mind and his IQ. I remember I had fought a guy, um, I forgot his name, little short guy, right? Max is, they got smart. I can handle the tall guys. It's the shorter guys that grab you by the waist and then just Under keep kneeing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah knee, yeah, knee, yeah. knee. This shit don't even hurt, but it scores, right? So I lost. I thought I won that fight, but I lost. So me and Dorian, he cornered me, of course, and we go to his room. And so we're watching the fight over and over again. And he's saying, I think you won, but this is, this is the tie scoring. And he explained that shit to me. Even the ties, didn't even, they, they couldn't explain it like that because they just do it. Right. But Dorian was explaining about when you're shorter. Remember, I, I taught it yesterday. You mm -hmm. don't want to go down to his level. You don't want to. I was trying to neck lock the guy. He was damn near five, six. Why, why am I doing that? And then he was saying, you're supposed to make space. And I'm like, man, I heard that before. What, what do they mean? Make space. So he's like, look, I'm going to show you. He, all right, so grab me right here. So I grabbed him in the room, and he said, just do this. And that shit, the whole light, you know how it is in Muay Thai. Yeah. You can do something, and then it just clicked. Yeah. And that's what they mean. And after that changed my game up. He, Dorian, shout out to D. But he said, For sure. if you ever can get a private with Dorian Price, if you ever can get training with Dorian Price, if you ever can get a seminar with Dorian Price, if y'all watching this, contact him. Yeah, this guy know what the hell he's talking about with Muay Thai. I think he's in Ohio. Maybe he went back to Thailand. 
I think he might still be on Ohio training yeah. uh, with his family right now. Yeah. I saw him training his nephew or something a couple of days ago. Yeah, he's a, he's a wanderer. Yeah, he's a like nomad. Me, you know, he, is. <laughs> no, he just is. He's like, I want to go back to Thailand. I'm like, yeah. you've only been there two months, bro. Yeah, but that's just Dorian. I, I can say it to me. I know, I know, I know a little bit about Muay Thai, but if you talk to Dorian, his shit is just like the encyclopedia. To me, he knows the most about Muay Thai yeah. out, of, out of Americans. I never yeah. met. I, ne I never met a, a mind. Check him out, man. I know you know him personally for yeah, years, for sure. But his mind is stupid. Shout out to Dorian, man. I'm gonna give him his props. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that's good that you guys like 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 know each other and like I've met a bunch of people from Thailand that I never met before that mm -hmm. know my other friends out there and stuff and we're all we're all like a family too. Yeah, you know? the community is close, man. Yeah, yeah man. It's Be cool. careful what you say, man, about people, man. Yeah, don't because somebody no knows shit. somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Dorian is good people, man. Yeah, man. Uh, and Matt Brown, that, that's where it came from. Um, yeah, but yeah, I trained Matt for seven of his fights. Ooh. He won all seven by knockout. No, Man. very good. What, what'd you give him? What like more? Like what? What, what was it? Man, the game plan. Look, it depends on the person. Like okay. every person, I try to have a different game plan for. You know, ah. I mean, you can't really do that in Thailand so much. Yeah. you can a little bit, but like in the UFC, uh, you can call them and say, I, "I need his last five fights. Send him to me." And then I, I, I see Daddy. patterns, and you make wow. a game plan, and you have to have two game plans. I'm giving away everybody my shit. No, come to my gym. Fuck you. <laughs> no. You can edit it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But you get like two game plans because, man, sometimes game plan one doesn't go the way you want it to go. And then you got to switch, you know, you got to switch that game plan, you know. But uh, we, we were pretty good at game planning. Yeah. Our game plans work. And they don't always work, but you try. Yeah, you have a team though. For I, I, I would think at that level, you have a team that yeah, everybody works you have together. A, a wrestling yeah. guy, and then you have a stand-up guy, and then you have a jiu-jitsu guy. Okay. But I've done all, so I, I agree with them or not. You know, I'm, I mean, I, I'm not good at wrestling, but my best takedown is a left hook. Okay. So let me ask you this: So do you work with all three of those coaches? Like, let yeah, me, we're gonna get in the room. We're gonna game plan together for sure. For oh, sure. Okay. 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 I, or I tell them my game plan, and they tell me their game plan, and we try to mesh it together. Oh. We have to agree, man. You have to yeah. agree on it. If you don't agree, you're just butting oh, heads, yeah. and your guy's not gonna be that good in the ring. You know? Yeah. I would think, um, because MMA, of course, mixed martial arts, is the game. Is it, has it changed now to where because MMA is so popular? I know all. all I know how to wrestle. I know how to box. I know this and that. Some, so I can just teach you my, I don't need a team. I can just train you myself. Is some, it like that now? Yeah, some, but I, I never did that. I don't okay. want to teach jujitsu. Okay. I mean, I do jujitsu, but I don't want to teach jujitsu. Uh, but I know what's good and bad. You should know. You know what I yes. mean? Like, because the clinch in Muay Thai is totally different when there's takedowns. Yes. Like if I'm take, do I, like a hip takedown, it's yes. different, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. So you got to have a wrestling guy. You got to have a jujitsu guy. Yeah. Man, man. Yeah. You encyclopedia yourself. Man, I'm over talking about it, dude. I just love it. Y'all come I, to Mark Beach. It's cool. I, <laughs> Forget what I said. I mean, I, I like all, all martial arts, you know, and, yeah. and I think anything that works, like if it's stand up, if, if you see it's like some Taekwondo shit, but it works, I'm like, that's Muay Thai, dude. Yeah. Ah. You know, whatever works, yeah. that's what I'm yeah. going to take. You know, you have to have that open mind. That's not Muay Thai. I'm not doing it. Does it work? Yeah. Well, it's Muay. It's, I'll take it. You know. Good. Good. Yeah. That's, that's a good. Yeah. But your first Open love line. is Muay Thai. Well, when I started, it was Jiu Jitsu, mm -hmm. and then it was it was I wanted to fight MMA. I fought MMA first. No, I fought I fought Muay Thai first. My first fight was Muay Thai, and then I, I wanted to do MMA, and I did, and then I just started doing Muay Thai with Brian Popejoy. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's the guy. Dude. Yeah, he's yeah. awesome. Yeah. He's, he, he knows his shit, too. An encyclopedia about Muay Thai? Uh, that dude. Oh, yeah. I for sure. Yeah, let me add him to the list, too. And Aziz. Yeah. You know Aziz? Aziz, yeah, yeah for he's sure. He's that guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah Aziz, definitely. too, yeah. There's lots of people in America, but we're all, we're all friends. We know all yeah. of them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's cool. Okay, so look, um, at the end of my podcast, I yeah. ask uh, uh, the same 10, 10 questions. Okay. So, do you guys know any of those 10 questions? No. Nah, well, then you should have watched my podcast. I should. Just kidding, just kidding. I will now. So, so um, the first one is, is cool, and it could be uh, anything, but what's your favorite move? Mine's um, the knee from the clinch. Knee the, from the, the clinch? The hit lock. Okay. And then turn the, it over okay. to Okay. And then oh, yours? Mine is a half shin, half knee. Half, half shin, half knee. I knew it was going to be that one. Of course, yes. All right, show me. <laughs> All right. 
And I meant the neck lock, not the hit lock. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. I was just in there. Uh, yeah. And, and they, they need me a little bit. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay? That's cool. Are you okay? You good? You good? You're good. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. D, D, go. D. Go, go, go. <laughs> D Mark. D Mark. D Mark. No mind. D Mark. Everything's very good. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah so. and, and and he you guys did a, a seminar at my place uh, yesterday yes. and, yeah. and showed a bunch of that stuff. Y'all should have been here. It was dope. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you for having us. It man. was awesome, man. Thanks the for coming out. It was great too, man. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah you got some great really students. Good. Yeah, thanks, really. Thanks, yeah. Some great energy in here. Some good. Yeah, it was good. I'm serious. I'm just not talking shit. Um, when you walk in, I can always tell, yeah. especially Daisy. She's very intuitive. And um, that's the first thing we said together. Like, damn, especially when we left. I'm like, man, the energy was up in there. It was good. Right. It was man. good. Yeah, well, you guys helped she, that she energy. She even said you that. Guys, you she guys are like, very high energy, man. She said, I, I never met Mark, but he has a good spirit. Yeah. Uh, so uh, thanks. thanks. You're welcome. She's I, very I listen to her when it comes to shit like that. What do you think of him? Like good people or i don't know too much about him <laughs> <laughs> but you know i'll be honest I, i'm very honest when it comes to that because yeah. you know it, i don't want to put anything bad on somebody if yeah I feel, you know but i am very when it comes to that i'll say you're very yeah. good mark we yeah. like your energy we All like right. you dude. yeah i yeah. like you guys yeah. too yeah. 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 i don't if, if i don't feel good i don't, I don't I, yeah yeah I kind of curvy yeah, yeah for good, sure man for sure but if it's good people good energy yeah, I definitely do want to, um, you're in my book now. So like I said, so every time right. I come to Katie, man, I come and visit, man. I yeah. keep in contact with you, man. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. Good stuff, We'll Mark, do man. it. Yeah. yeah. All right. You guys ready for question number two? I am. What's your least favorite move? What do you hate the most? Oof. About, uh, I would say, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't call it a move, but, um, I'm not really too much of a fan of a, I wouldn't say I'm not that great at boxing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so wait, 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 your least favorite move is boxing? <laughs> yeah, far that, as that's the, not a move. Yeah, like, yeah. I would say that's what I mean. I wouldn't. Oh, the hook. The you hook. don't like a left hook? I don't like the. I don't like the left hook. I threw my Pack shoulder out. Your bags and <laughs> leave my house. <laughs> that's his favorite. The left. That's hook. my favorite. Is the yeah. Left hook. yeah, yeah. I dislocated my shoulder my throwing uh, the left hook. So now I just don't. I keep it straight. Daisy loves the left hook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when it comes to the students, I let her show it. But far as me. Nah, I would just keep mine straight. Nah, I think you're scarred yeah, from the dislocation, yeah, man. Man, nah. it's scary. Yeah, it's scary. <laughs> yeah, he dealt with that for a long time. Yeah, yeah I, I had a, I would have never fights. thought your least favorite move is a, a, a hook. What? Yeah, left I would have never thought that. I had a fight, no bullshit. And I still have the contract. I had a fight uh, on one championship. Yeah, with a contract, I was ready to go. Messed around two days later, I dislocated my shoulder, man. Uh, a bad dislocation. I was asleep. That same came night out. came out again. Oh. I was like, you know what? I'm going to fight through it anyway. It was kickboxing. It wasn't even Muay Thai. So no I had, clinch. I, no clinching. <laughs> uh, they, they, they sent me my opponent. I did some videos on him. I would have kicked his ass. I think I would have. But my shoulder kept coming out. I couldn't even train. I couldn't do shit. You know what I mean? So I had to let it heal. And I don't even throw hooks anymore. I fought, I fought, crazy. I fought after that. You know what I mean? In yeah. Thailand, I fought after that. But it, yeah, it's very scary, man. Even now, yeah. I sleep a certain way because of my shoulder, man. It, it, it's going to come out. You're worried about it coming out. Yeah, man. So yeah. both my shoulders are, are pretty bad. Throwing hooks. You know, right when I threw a right hook, and it came out. And I threw a left hook during sparring, and it came out. Man, you ain't and doing so something just, right. Me, oh yeah, let me, let me fix that. I'll I, fix that for him a little bit he later. Probably went from that. here. Oh yeah, he, he I went from, from here to Bay Jersey for Bay City. <laughs> <laughs> he threw it from way back there. And that boy just yeah. I need to come. I need to come to beach, man. You want to learn how to throw hooks? You need to come oh, to Katie, man. All right, what's number three, man? Let's go. All right, yeah. here we go. Uh, uh, what What in life would you guys like to accomplish? That's a big question. I got some deep shit here. Um, I would say becoming the best version of myself. Oh, whatever it deep. is, whatever it is, whatever it is. Yeah. Right. I want to. The most important thing to me right now, honestly, is um, and it might sound cheesy or corny, but I did ask me in this stuff. I want to accomplish my purpose. You know what I mean? Remember earlier we said that I pray every morning mm -hmm. and that's part of it. See, when I first started it. Because I want to know my assignment. I want, I want to know why I was sitting here. All right, everything has a purpose. All right. I feel as though when I pray in the morning time, the picture becomes a little bit more clear. So it started off 
about six months ago, I've been doing this. Started off more fuzzy, very, very fuzzy. But every time I go in there, I swear to God, the shit's okay. Not, I need to do this so it can look like this. All right, if I do this, it's going to be like that. I get answers from that shit. So my most important, my objective in life, I don't care about anything else because everything else is temporary. People are fickle. You know, I love my wife to death, but who knows? She can leave me tomorrow. Let's, let's call it honesty. Or she could be gone tomorrow. I have to learn how to deal with that mentally. Everything is temporary. That's true. What will last forever? Your assignment. The reason why you were here. Even when you're gone, Mark, yeah. those mm -hmm. guys that you say that you inspire, they're yeah. going to remember that shit. That's mm -hmm. true. I'm going to remember this day. That's true. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's what's important to me. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm getting some deep answers, too. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I like man. this. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so so we're in the same business, um, and it doesn't have to be the gym business, which we're mm -hmm. in now, um, which we haven't been in long. Uh, I mean, I have. But um, in the whole business, let's, mm -hmm. say, let's say fighting in Thailand, let's say fighting here, uh, mm -hmm. the gym business, whatever. What about this business do you guys hate? Hate? Yep. I don't like the word hate. I know hate is a strong <laughs> word. I don't like it. what do you dislike about this business? Like, what could change? That's a huge thing. Like, that's the biggest thing you think mm. could change, you know? I, and I, I, okay, go, go ahead, ahead, baby. I would say um, ego. Mm. In America? Yeah. The fighter. I feel like people, um, fighter, American fighters have a lot of ego. Mm. For sure. In Thailand, sure. like you fight and it's like, all right, it's over. Next. You yeah. Know, nobody they cares. Like, they, they raise your yeah. hand. Right, well, cool. Yeah. yeah. There isn't any kind of mean mugging and stuff back there. You know what I mean? You know, in Thailand, you go, you go sit right next to your opponent and just yeah. wait. Just waiting and stuff, especially in the back of Max. You're sitting like literally right here, and then they have these big-ass boards. So you're standing back there for about 10 minutes, and I'm just back here. So a lot of times, you know, after a while, I thought it was a mind game when I first got there. But the Thai opponents, it never happened with a foreigner, but the Thai, my Thai opponents always wanted a picture before the fight. And you yeah, remember that second, that's my second fight was, my, was against a Thai. My first fight was against a Falong. Second was against the tie. So I'm thinking, oh, man, this is a tie. Oh, he's been doing this since he was six. I'm a little bit nervous. You know right. what I mean? But before the fight started, he just came over. I'm still getting warmed up. Can that picture? Can that picture, please? I'm shit. You're like, okay. what? Yeah, cool. And then all my nervousness went down because he was so chill. And, you know, I was like, oh, damn. They see it a little bit different. Mm -hmm. That's when the, the ideas and everything started changing. So Wait. yours is ego too, then is what you're saying. No, no, my, my ego, and I'm not. No, no, no. I mean, I what, what you dislike about it, this business? And I don't want to. I don't know if I should say that. I'm just gonna oh, be honest with you. Come on, <laughs> give it up, dude. Give it up. Uh, I, I think it should be more. Um, we're talking about Muay Thai. I think it should be more taken care of, or look, 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 because it's a lot of hacks here, right? <laughs> and in in jujitsu. If I've never trained jujitsu, if I've never competed, and, I, and I'm a white belt, I can't I can't open up a, a gym and say come train real jujitsu or whatever because a black belt is gonna come in here and say where you where you get your belt from right who'd you roll with let's roll right here right they're gonna you're gonna get caught in your shit mm -hmm. Muay Thai they don't have that so I can be Joe Blow and I've done karate for thirty years I've never even heard of Muay Thai till I saw it on Joe Rogan's podcast yeah oh that's selling very good let me open up a Muay Thai spot. Yep. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And nobody calls you out on your shit. So I stay in my own lane. I don't so let it concern me too much. Yeah. But for the most part, if I could change one thing, I would think that we should, we should hold ourselves at a higher standard like jujitsu does. There are guys, I've seen it on, online. They're, they'll come in here. You say you're a black belt, huh? Let's roll. Yeah. Where'd you get your belt from? I never heard of that guy. Let me go look it up. That kind of thing. If yeah. we can do that in Muay Thai, I think American Muay Thai be like this. Yes. My personal opinion. That that could help. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it'll happen, but it could help. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying it will yeah. though, but that's the one thing that I think could, nice. could be better. I like we that. could hold hold each other more accountable for, you know. Authentic it's it's whatever yeah. selling is that's what I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why isn't it yeah. like that in jujitsu though? You know what I mean? That well, will never fly. Well, I mean, like I said, I, I do jujitsu too. Yeah. Because in jujitsu You earned your shit though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Exactly. Um but in jujitsu you can spar roll with somebody without hurting them and you can tell how good they are fast like you can just tell okay you're you're not good or you're like a blue belt you know what i mean mm -hmm. but in muay thai you can't like spar with somebody like box with them and know without hurting them mm -hmm. we're in the hurt business man you know what i mean yeah. when i low kick you 14 times in the first round uh, i know you suck you know what i mean yeah. but 
now you, now the guy's hurt so nobody's gonna want a box just for free you know i don't know it's weird it, like i i always explain it that a lot of these gyms you don't have to be good at teaching you have to be good in, at telling people you're good at teaching mm, and then marketing. if they believe it then you have a bunch of students which sucks you know but that's how it is mm. but i agree with that yeah. we should be we should be those dudes that walk into the gym with the baby powder hey yeah. Me and you spar. And they're like, no. Bop. Hook me up. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> Baby, <let's go. laughs> but that's the thing, man. I, I try to stay away from it because yeah. you, you don't wanna you don't wanna to create that's a seed. Yeah. You know, seeds grow. You don't wanna just sit there. My thing is just, you know what, I'm gonna stay in my I'm gonna do the best that I can do. Yeah. And whatever they have going on, uh God bless you. Yeah. And let, then let them grow. Yeah, yeah. Let them grow. Yeah, I don't care. Do what you, you know? do, man. Because as soon as the students figure out that they're they they really don't know, they'll come to me. Mm. That's fine with if me. If they you know ever, I mean? you you out. deserve if they figure it out. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's the same with you. Like like yeah. as soon as they figure out, oh, this guy really doesn't know. I mean, and then well, well, who does know? And then yeah. they'll come to the to the person who does know. It's yeah. fine. I don't mind either. No, yeah. I'm the same way. I feel yeah. like that's the um, energy we brought yesterday. Yeah. The confidence sure. behind it. People were like, oh, shit. These yeah, people know yeah, what they're talking about. For sure. I told TJ sure. that. I said, the confidence in there, when you spoke, you spoke very well. You spoke like you knew what the hell you were talking about. You weren't. Because um, you guys do know. That's um, why. Yeah, yeah. But some people go in there. They're like, um, um, do this. And they over explain it. And you I? Oh, I have a huge thing about We don't even get off on a tangent. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you asked the questions. We look, interview with you. I know, I know. What the hell? <laughs> but but look, if you're talking more than you're training, it's mm. because you're trying to a common trying to tell people that you show people that you know what you're talking about. Uh. I'm like, no, I'm, we're not talking here. Do it, and then I'll correct how you do it. Mm -hmm. Go, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? This shit. I, I've been to classes where I sat there and watched, and the dude talked for 45 minutes. They trained for 15 minutes, the whole class. I'm like, hey man, has anyone ever told you to shut the fuck up? Yeah, like, yeah. like train, you know, over explaining yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If they over explain, it's because they don't they know don't how know. to. Explain. Yeah, yeah. I never thought about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some real talk though. For yeah. sure. All right, here's the next one. Ready? What's your favorite thing? My favorite thing. The saying. Saying. Like if somebody said that oh. motherfucker says this all the time, what would it be? Oh, I don't know. What would you say about me? That you always yeah. say the same thing? I don't know. He's got so many. Yeah, they, they always steal <laughs> we, my saying. We, we, have, we have a lot of family jokes. Yeah, like, but, all right, for I instance. Mean, we don't say if, one if, thing too many times. If, if I'm serious about something, and I'll just say, oh, man, I like that shirt, man. On Crip. On Crip? Yeah. On like Crip. Crip, the gang. You know like, what I'm saying? Uh, this, gang? Yeah, on this Crip. bullshit. And my kids say, and that's good? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I lived in LA. It's, a, know, joke. it's a joke. It's a joke. I put that you. on Compton Crip. Compton right. Long Beach Crip. I just make up a bullshit ass game. Right. What else you say? <laughs> um, I don't know. Right what here. about you? What's your favorite saying? What does she say all the time? Besides, shut up. <laughs> no, I, mean, I, say, I say, uh, I don't know. I don't say something very much. Hmm. I, t I, tell, I tell the students, though, all the time, um, Good work. I always try to build them up. Yeah, I build I mean, them up. I say, I say that's that's one of the uh, things I say a lot. Ah, very nice. Uh, very nice. Ah, ah, very nice. Very nice. Totally from Thailand. Totally very from nice. Thailand. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, that's what we say a lot. I, was, but, yeah, I can't think of anything. Yeah, I can't. So many. All right. Sometimes I get, I get I get like comments. That motherfucker says this all the time. Yeah, don't let him lie to you, bro. I get some comments. <laughs> let him know. Them. He says, all right, all right, all right. All the time. <laughs> Kevin Hart. Stealing shit. She always say I be stealing shit too, man. From Kevin Hart? No, Kevin Hart's hilarious. Just, just everybody in general. He always steal everything. <laughs> I mean. Every, all the jokes he has, he <laughs> stole them from someone. You know, every joke, every joke, uh, you heard it somewhere. You got to. Unless you're a comedian, you're making stuff up. That's what I tell people too about moves. They're like, you stole that move from me. I, every move that I know, I stole yeah. from somebody. That I didn't come out and figure shit out. You know what I mean? I, oh, how do you do that? And then I learned it. There you go. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's not rocket science. Let's do this shit. Uh -uh. Yeah. 
But I have noticed one thing, though. All the stuff that we learn, speaking of knowing moves, we take that shit and we add a little bit to it. Yeah. Make, make, you make have to add your own, own flavor. Style yeah, too. make your own flavor to it. For sure. For sure. <laughs> what we got on six. I ain't like that question, man. I yeah. know. I've been hanging deep, around right? with Mark, man. Uh, man I I got, I'm being I got more some, blunt now. I, I, good. I don't, I don't like me. five. I don't care. <laughs> Tell me. All right. I like five. <laughs> All right. So here we go. So if you didn't do this profession, what you guys are doing now, what would you do? Mm, good shit. Mm hmm. Probably what you were doing before, theater degree Which is, in uh, financing. Yeah, so, so. I did sales and finance. I, <laughs> I did sales and finance. Yeah. And I was actually really good at sales. Good. Like I was the top salesman, sales, well, salesman so. for two, two quarters. In, in, in the region? Yeah, in the region. Awesome. Very yeah. good. And I was, uh, I did work. I just did whatever they handed me. You know what I mean? When I went to the when I went to the Navy, I didn't shit else. What else? What, else, what the hell is I'm gonna do after? I don't want to go to college. I hate school. I gotta get out of get, get out of my parents' house. Mm -hmm. Shit. What else can I do? Oh shit! The Army. The Navy got to me first though, so I joined the Navy. Didn't still didn't know I was undesignated. Didn't know what the hell I wanted to do. Okay, you go over here to work with this machinery. I fucking I'm not I'm not that great at at, at tools though, but that's where they put me <laughs> when I got out the Navy. All right, what I want to do? Let me put in an idea. This in the Navy. All right, so you go in the oil field. So that's what I did. So oil I wasn't field. doing, yeah, I was in the oil service. So that's I did that for, yeah, I did that for years. Yeah. So that's what I still probably would be doing. I know yeah. that's what I would be doing. Yeah. You that's know. a trait you pick up and yeah, you just go man, along that's, with that's it. That's part yeah. of the program. And I wasn't, I, did, I hated that shit. Yeah. But, you know, they paid me my damn $23 an hour. So I'm making it. You got your paycheck? Yeah, yeah man. Right. And fuck, man. You know, and, and you guys, uh, thank God, uh, I'm going to drop this on you guys too. You guys have figured out that life isn't about work, go home, work, go home, you know? And a lot of people live their whole life doing that. Oh, you know? facts. It's just like, like you said, you hated it. I was a welder in Houston. Mm. You know oh, wow. Hot Big bread. Yeah, but you know how hot it is, bro? Like right now, I'd be dying out there, you know? Um, and getting the paycheck and, get, and just hating it. You just it. want that paycheck. Yeah, yeah, and hating it, right. Because you got to pay the bills. Yeah, but you know, um, when you're young, you're like, yeah, I need all that money. But when later on in life, you figure out well, it's not about that, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's yeah. about trying to be happy and doing what you want to do. Fact. That's true. Let me ask you this, man, before, because sure. I want to hear, um, what makes you happy? I Hel know you said you know giving what? people helping and helping people. people. Helping people. That, um. that, it seems to be uh, my calling in life is helping people. It's what makes me happiest. Good. And it works so, so so when you feel a little bit sad a little bit down do you, because earl nightingale speaks on that a lot when you're feeling down and uh check him out he's very good he right. says that's the first thing he does is that the first thing that you find yourself doing or you never even thought about it i'm feeling sad let me go help somebody yeah i don't really think about it it just happens like if somebody needs something i try to help them you know i'm one of my friends you know what i mean not just random people but i do help random people too you know i mean Helping people um, accomplish something that they want to accomplish in life or, or helping people that need something. There's two different things, you know, but it's both good, you know. Good, I think man. that's what it is. How did this become an interview for me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like you guys. You're intriguing you guys too. Awesome. You, hey, guys, man, hey, you guys are really <laughs> awesome. Okay. All right. So um, with that being said, what profession would you never do? Ever. Days. <laughs> Days. <laughs> Oh, shit, the I cover of the say, mic uh, was bad. What pr profession would I never do? I would never strip. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I, would. I don't know. I would. <laughs> no, I just can't. I, would, I mean, I don't know. Every, I mean, I, if I, there was I, something I, that like you could do, but you're like, I would never, ever do that, what would it be? I'm trying to, uh, I can, me personally, is this the line? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, that one's right there. And that one's on though. I think that one went off. But I, I, I wouldn't. I could do it, but I couldn't be a preacher. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like open yeah. a Bible and Jesus said and yeah. heavenly saying you. Nah, yeah. I couldn't do all that, man. Even though the that's a pretty good voice. That's a pretty my good dad's preacher a preacher. Voice for, oh yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. That's he why grew I grew up in the church. I grew up in the church, oh. but in the church. Yeah, it never worked for me, man. Yeah, religion never worked for me. I didn't. I didn't find my answers. But believe it or not. Once, once I got away from it and I started this new way of thinking, like I talked about earlier, it led me into so many other studies. That's why I started studying Buddhism, Hinduism, uh, metaphysics, personal development, psychology, everything, awesome. uh, African spirituality. And believe it or not, Mark, the last few months, it actually brought me back to the Bible. But I've been looking at it not from a, a literal standpoint, but from uh, it's more figurative. And I look at it, the characters as being 
um, different parts of, of, the, of, of, of the human persona. For instance, uh, the character Peter, he can be looked at as faith. So if you read about in the Bible how Peter got out on the water and he walked with Jesus and he went out there, I can look at Jesus as my goal. I can look at the boat and the, the storms being the storms of life. Mm. I can look at myself being the character Peter and moving past the storms of life, keeping my eyes focused on my no. goal, Jesus, and walking towards it. Why did he sink? Because he lost faith. He looked at the COVID. He looked at the, 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 the market. He looked at everything else and he began to sink. You know what I mean? And what happened? Jesus picked him up. The goal, he kept his eyes on that and he reached out for it and it picked him up. He lifted him past those storms. So that's the way I look at the Bible now. Nice. Yeah. I can that's go the way I look at it too. I, yeah. That's the way I look at religion. If it helps you become a better person, it's good. Yes, I, yes, I yes. Mean, yeah. I, I like had to it. dig deep though, man. Like so the psychology of it, yeah, yeah, because he was yeah, for sure. Since he was itty bitty, so yeah, but that should never work, man. Re-freening. They yeah. programmed you to think that the devil mm-hmm. is this, and the reason why you're failing in life is because you broke uh-huh. three rules. Uh-huh. You said a curse word, so now you're gonna lose all your money. Yeah, the Bible says it. Nah, bro, it, it doesn't work that way. I know. I grew up Catholic. Ah, uh-huh. so you really know that's the worst one. Oh, <laughs> scary. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a uh, uh, right up until the age of logic and reason. Yes, and yes, now, of like, course. Very smart. Wait a minute. Nah, anyway. <laughs> were you a holiday saint or were you an every Sunday saint? It was, yeah, it was every Sunday. I mean, oh, you know, wow. we were Catholic. We like, really into it. Catholic. Like, yeah. yeah, but not anything crazy, but yeah. yeah but I grew up Catholic too, but we yeah. only went on holidays. Yeah. That's why I was asking. Catholic. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's how most people are, is um, I'm going to believe in what i'm told to believe in yes i'm not going to study it and figure out what i believe in myself yes well it's this is good and this is bad got it move on yes know? yes yeah but nah religion's a never-ending subject as well you know yeah yeah but if it betters you i i don't care what religion you're on mm-hmm. if it's better if it betters you and makes you a better person i say do it yeah, yeah right. for sure all right and last but not least this is a big one it's deep yes sir <laughs> <laughs> what we got okay at the end of your life Okay. How would you like for people to remember you? Days? Okay. I can go. Go ahead. Uh, uh, we got the silence. <laughs> yes. It's deep. Yeah, we didn't study it in here. But honestly, um, the, the, the laws that, that I study, everything I tell you, I've been talking about, mm-hmm. I want people to say, damn, man, you know what? If he did it, I know I can do it. You know what I mean? Um, he said, he said these laws work. He wrote it down. He believed in it. He got the idea in his subconscious mind. He stepped out on faith. Faith is a real thing because t- it, it worked for him. Everything he wrote down, everything he put on his vision board, everything he, he created in his mind and he spoke about, it worked. I want to see if it works too. He inspired me to do that. That's what I want people to think, to awesome. see. Yeah, man. That's good. That's good. That that's, was, yeah. that's what I want. I want people to remember me as somebody who just went out and did it. You want it? Go get it. Because in actuality, we moved to Thailand for TJ. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, on the she didn't even think about training. Yeah, of course. You know, I wasn't like, oh, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to Thailand and I'm going to train Muay Thai and learn. That was not even part of the plan. Matter of fact, I didn't even want to train Muay Thai. You know, but I I wanted to support. I wanted to to have a better life, a better future, and I felt like this was it. So I think I want to be remembered as a person who who supported somebody Mm. who who gave 100% of themselves to help somebody else mm. come up. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, that, That's a real wife, man. That is, for sure. Yeah, man. For I sure. mean, I'm so many people, man, your wife did that. My wife, one guy even told My me. My wife wouldn't do that. Yeah, she wouldn't yeah. even move across the street for me. And I said, oh, shit. Yeah. I kind of laughed it off. <laughs> but think about it like, bro, <laughs> that's your wife? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come Let's, on, man. Yeah. Every I, joke has some realness. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it, you have to have that support and, and vice versa. Mm-hmm. He has to support you too. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and that's great. And, and everyone needs that in life, I, I believe. Everybody mm-hmm. needs that. Yes, sir. Hey, yes. Where, what's your website? www.kingdommartialartsacademy.com. Okay. Uh, Kingdom Martial Arts Academy. Kingdom Martial Arts Academy. Yes, and you can okay. catch us on IG and on Instagram. Yes, at Kingdom Martial Arts Academy or at TJ the Thinking Man. Or Mrs. TJ the Thinking Man. Yeah. Yes. And then um, where's your gym? What's the address? Uh, 
5421 Grissom, G-R-I-S-S-O-M, Grissom Road, San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio? San Antonio. Come right. down there, man. Tortas on me. I got you, Mark. Tortas? Yeah, of course. You, like you never tortas? had that shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big ass bread. Bro, I live in yeah. Texas, man. I know My man. Man, yeah. they say San Antonio has the best Mexican food. Yeah. I, I don't know how true it is, but it's we'll find shit out. out there. Man, so come the, out there, man. We'll the get, deal we'll, with we'll Mexican food is my favorite. Oh, but if you eat it, you're going to get fat. Oh, agreed. Period. You're going to get fat. But I love it. I mean, live once, man. Let's do it. My owl. My owl. My owl. <laughs> twisted my arm, man. This guy. Hey, uh, thanks, you guys. Thanks for the seminar, and thanks yeah. for doing no. the podcast. Uh, uh, sorry about the technical difficulties. No I'll figure it out. But thanks for I'll having us. Soon. Yeah, you guys are awesome. awesome. All right, man. Good stuff, All right, my man. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Thank sir. you. All right. All right.